hello? I mostly, oh shit, I almost dropped my water bottle. I mostly meant like, is the bot in the server not working? Because it's not telling y'all that I'm live, which is so frustrating, but hello. I'm keeping my promise. Keeping the promise. I got the new pepper look. I told y'all. <laughs> this is definitely not a wig. This is just me. <laughs> Syrah, I am here to simp. <laughs> Hello, friends. How's everybody doing? Are we ready for some more Shadowbringers? Because I am. I'm ready to whoop some ass. I'm sick of Vothri. I'm sick of him. I'm sick of him. I cannot believe that I called it again. He is the Light Warden in Yulmore. And this little man flew off into a mountain. And now we gotta fuck him up. We finished the roll quest last night. I spent a lot of time trying not to simp for Granson. What a beautiful man. I love him. I love a good snarky guy. The infection of light suits you well. Oh, well, thank you. It's a good thing it's not killing me or anything. We'll see how long I can last in this wig. It's like a little bit itchy, but it's not like bothering me too much. And I didn't, I didn't do the, the front lace thing properly because I, well, why would I? I put this on in like two minutes, you know? Two ears, thank you. Look at this fancy, you order fancy hair. I know, right? Granson is husband material? He is husband material. What if I wrote like an AU where Pepper and him live happily ever after? They're both grieving. They were both grieving, all right? So it makes sense. Their story is aligned. It's perfect. It's meant to be. If Sai and I were walking outside and counter puddle, I would lay down and let her walk on my back to keep her shoes dry. Thank you. My shoes are pretty expensive, so I actually really appreciate that. Thank you very much. <laughs> this is the first I've ever seen anyone sip for Granson. I'm sorry, am I <laughs> Am I special? <laughs> Look, I love him. I want it. I want art of Pepper and him like back to back with their claymores or something, you know? <laughs> How's everyone doing? Did everybody have a good day? Is everyone chilling? Is everyone vibing? Are we ready to to fuck up the last light warden? I'm very scared. I don't know what to expect from the ending of Shadowbringers. Um because I thought defeating the last light warden would be like the end of Shadowbringers, but it's not. We're only on quest level 78. So that means there's a lot of chaos coming my way. I'm so scared. Hi, Rhea. Hi, Sarnix. Granson is a fine man. And hi, Kenley. Chilling and crafting. You crafting in game? Hi, Avalon. You look so good. Thank you. Hey, Eternal. Hey, Lonely. Hey, Ken. I'm trying so hard not to scratch my head, but it's so itchy right here. <laughs> hey, Lizzie. So I'm doing this new thing now where I, I get my game situated like this, and then I turn that into the starting soon page. And so if y'all wanna come and pop up and hang out with me, y'all can do that. Y'all can vibe. We can hang out together. Eyebrows not white? Look, I'm not gonna make my eyebrows white. I would look ridiculous. I know that her eyebrows are white, but there's only so much that I could do. I'm on Crystal Goblin. I've I'd completely forgotten they released a new tier of crafting gear. Ooh, is it cool? Is it pretty? Laura, how are you? Hello, Bean. Assy and Pepper just arrived. Don't kill me. Time to invest in some chalk. I have some somewhere. Like, I can do it, I just won't. <laughs> oh, don't mind me pulling down my shirt, trying to get the boobas out. This is not a good titty shirt, unfortunately. I want my boobs out. I wanna look cute. There we go. <laughs> hey Vince! Sara, I am here to simp. <laughs> Vince, how are you? Oh, Laura is also here to simp. I'm good. I'm very excited to um, dive back into the MSQ. I'm really glad that I did the roll quest last night because now we can just kamikaze through this. There is emergency maintenance tonight on, like in Final Fantasy. The servers will be shut down at around 1 a.m. 
So maybe we'll have as much luck as I did when I was playing Heaven's Ward and I'll be able to do all my shit before the servers <laughs> close. Can we say words together or just have them? What? What does that mean? Can we share words? Share words together or just have them? What do you mean share words? What does that mean? Hey Viking! But this hot is away before my mom comes in. I, too fucking bad. If your mom thinks I'm a whore, then you know what? Tell her I am. Tell her I am. Hello boss man. Here to simp ma'am? Good. Good. I'm glad all my simps are coming in. Come, come. Come, come. Come to mama. Hey, Saren! I know! I'm just- I'm matching the baby! I just matching the baby, that's all! That's all I'm doing! So, I've been running the game for the last couple of hours, so I don't think we're gonna have any disconnecting issues today, I hope. Fingers crossed. The ears look so soft. Yeah! They're by the same creator who made my peppermint ears. Here are my pepper ears. The ears that I'm wearing right now are actually my Ishtola ears. But I haven't finished the cosplay yet, so I can't show you the Ishtola cosplay. <laughs> They're actually not the same shade as this wig. They're, a, like, a little bit warmer. Like the Ishtola wig I have. Alright. Are we ready? Is it Shadowbringers time? Are we diving in? I look so, I look so cute. What if I had white hair? It would kill my hair, but god, I would look so good. I would look so good. Alright, ready? I don't know if if I'm gonna have I mean I'm assuming I'm gonna have a couple dungeons and maybe some trials coming up maybe some MSQ content you know like MSQ dungeon thingies yeah all right what, what if I just like tie my shirt down what if I just like did it like this <gasps> dentist Dentist, thank you for the 25 gifted subs. Holy shit. Can we get some hype in the chat for Dentist? Dentist, thank you so much. Everyone got gifted sub. Welcome to the Covenant of your Badger Mills and your stay. Alrighty. Starting off the stream with a fucking bang. We love to see it. One dungeon, then a trial soon. Hell yeah. Oh, my ear is so itchy. This wig is so itchy. I look amazing. Thank you. Alrighty. Okay. So... Oh, hello? Oh? Are you here to see me? Are you here to see me? Is, is it me that you're looking for? Oh wait, is my boy out? My boy is out. Hi! What's up? Oh, do you have boy hair too? Oh no, I think that's just the, the helmet that you're wearing. Like the eyepiece. You know? Hi! I give you, I give you a kiss. I give you. Okay. So I'm playing as a reaper right now, but I think I'll I think I'll swap back to Dark Knight for the sake of the MSQ because Dark Knight is canon for Shadowbringers and I'm like that's my main. So it only it only makes sense for me to continue playing as a Dark Knight for Shadowbringers. So we're doing the ladder, so we have to go north right now. Um we're going up to some place called Scree. Interesting. All right, I'm gonna hop on my chocobo. That was a gift from Orshifal, okay. I'm still anti-chocobo, all right, all right. Ah, <sighs> yeah. So last night we discovered that Vothri is the last Light Warden. He's a Light Warden of, of Yulmore. Or I guess, did they call him a Light Warden or did they just call him a Sin Eater? Because he's been eating all the meals. He's eating, you know, ground up Sin Eaters, basically. So, yeah, he grew some wings and flew away, and so now we have to go and find him. He's on this this mountain somewhere, and I think I think it levitated, like I think it's in the sky. And the only way that we can access it is by taking a ladder or an airship, and he told us that a, an airship would not be a good idea in case we get ambushed or something. So, all right. Oh, interesting. What is this? Oh yeah, and Julia Chai, her husband, this guy, he's the only one, like he's the heir to, oh my god, what was it? One of the, the, the oh my god, I don't even remember, the company thingy my jobs, the thingy my bops, or whatever. And so he knows how to fix the golem statue things that 
activate the ladder? Something like that. Something like that. Sin eater and a man. He's a sin man. He's a man eater. He's a man eater. Hi, Petey. Hello. Yeah, the cry counter went up. After we finished the rule quest um, with Granson, I did a little cry. Not like a big cry. Just my eyes got really watery. So, yeah. It was it was very emotional. He was mourning his wife, and then he finally was able to to move on at the end. The whole the whole quest line was beautiful. Hydrate. This is a tr this is a threat. Yes, mommy. Hi, Swinny. I was riding on a big chicken. You got a problem with that? Pepper, dost thou dost thou see yonder pair of tallows? For a blessing, they were found to be in good repair. Oh, that's what those are. Master Tri prepareth to activate them as we speak. With our arcane knowledge, Ishtol and I will serve as his assistants. At the appointed hour, we shall imbue the golems with ether. Otherwise, others, meanwhile, attend to the ladder itself, which has too long lain neglected. Extensive maintenance will be needed ere it can move again, as well as a myriad materials with which to perform it. If thou art willing, we would prevail upon thee to procure lumber. No! Why do I always have to do your labor? <laughs> My thanks, Pepper. Directly to the south, thou wilt find a dry dock, Venmont Yards. Pray see if thou canst persuade the folk there to part with some lumber for our cause. Man! Uh, are you fucking kidding me? Alright. Ugh. Not the sweet and sad? Yeah. I'm a sucker for those kind of narrative plot lines, though. I love, I love a good heartache. I did not know that the rule quest would, would revolve around the Warriors of Darkness that we met so like the the archer the healer like all of those all those characters that have now passed away um so they feel a little bit more personal because we've already met these characters we know them a little bit so seeing their you know i guess like their history where they've come from their trauma it's good shit it's fucking good shit i tell you good shit I like that. I like how real and fleshed out this game feels. Like the, the characters in the game, I mean. Alright, wait. This sound this looks like a side quest. Eh? Something I could do for you, stranger? Oh, this is a side quest. This isn't the one that I want. Okay. I don't know what the fuck that was, but alright, here's here's the person I'm supposed to speak to. Irvith, I guess. Ho oh, there, sinner. Haven't seen you around before. New to Gate Town, I take it. If you need, isn't Gate Town a place in High Rule? I swear it is. Um, haven't seen you around before. New to Gate Town, I take it. If you need lumber for a shack, you've come to the right place. We can do the building for you too, though that'll cost extra. You want lumber to restore the ladder? Why in the world would anyone want to do that? If you don't have the coin, the least you can do is come up with a believable excuse. But look, I'm not one to turn folk away. I'll give you your lumber if you do me a favor in return. No. <laughs> I just finished uh, taking stock of our supply and was about to do another round for good measure. I want you to do the counting instead, and we'll see if your total matches mine. What the fuck? Now, some of the lumber is lying about the yard, but most of it is kept in the storehouse. For these, you can just ask Grithel... Grithel? For the number. Here, I'll lend you some writing material so you can take notes. I swear to god, this fucking game. I really thought I'd be diving into a battle immediately, like I would go to the ladder and they would have it already down for me and I could climb it, but no. Hey, Vlad! Hello! Does Blue Quest were a good way to flesh out the characters without making them part of the MSQ? I agree. If they were part of the MSQ, it would have been too draining. I mean, we already have Aardvark, right? Gatepost is in Zelda and Gate Town is in Elden Ring. Oh, okay, okay. All right, I was kind of close. Hey, I got there a little bit. <laughs> All right, take stock of the supply of lumber at the shipyard. Okay. So, do I just... Do I just... Oh, oh, I see. So, I just have to interact with it. All right, why am I already yawning? Okay, so... Powdered crystal? Wait, this is a side quest! This isn't the MSQ! Well, I'm gonna fucking do it now, I guess. 
while it's here. <laughs> uh, oh, there's the lumber. Okay. Names are very hard. Hi, Chompas. How are you? Did I pronounce that correctly? Chompas? 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 Champignon? That means mushroom in French. Champagnon. You count 11 planks in the stack. Alright. First, let me just continue this. Okay. 11 planks. Okay, let's talk to Grithel. Cutscene for this? Eh? Taking stock for Irvith, are you? Well, last I counted, we had 68 planks in the storehouse here. Hopefully, it's actually 69. Nine of those were rotted, though. So we can toss them out. Or rotted, rotted through, though. Oh, so we toss them out. Okay. So then you have... 59. Oi, Grithel, and the load just arrived. 13 planks, all told, but one's damaged. It's only good for kindling now. So they got 12 new ones. So they have... 71. Right then, bring the good ones here, and be sure to let Irvith know as well. Or is it 71 plus the 11 that I found? Was it 11 that I found? You're writing down those numbers anyway, right? I'm sure you can work it out. Uh, yeah! I got that! I got this! I- I totally- I totally got this! I'm totally- totally got- So, 11 in a stack near Irvith. 60 in Starhouse- yeah, okay. So, but does- did he count those, though? Or no, were those the only ones in the- Wait, fuck, shit, balls, potatoes. Okay, 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 okay. So, scrawled in your hand, the note says 11 in stack near Irvith. It, oh, in the storehouse! Okay, so there's 71. So 71 plus 11, 82. Okay. Math. The math is mathing. Alright, where, where's the other... Where's the other lumba? I don't... I don't see lumba anywhere else. Um... Did I say 82? Was it 82? I think it's 82. Is there some back here? No, this is out of bounds. Shit! Where's the rest of the lumber? Oh no. Oh god. I don't see it anywhere. Why is there a, count a cry counter? Uh, exactly what, um... <laughs> Uh, what Kelsey said, y'all are emotional vampires, you like watching me cry, but this game is very emotional and it's it's made me tear up on multiple occasions. Oh, was it under here? No. Every time I see a stream play MZ for the first time, I'm, here, I'm there to suck up the emotional damage I also experienced. That is so valid. You're so valid for that. All right, someone put 82 in the chat, so I remember that I'm at 82. 82, 82, 82. 82, 82, 82. Aha! Found the others. 82, 82, 82. What is this? 82, 82, 82. This? How much is here? 24. 82 plus 24. That's 106. All right, buddy. I've got it. It's 106. Right, chat? Done, are you? So how many planks did you count? 106. Aye, that's exactly what I counted! I can do math, I can do math, I can do math. I passed grade 9 math, so I'm a pro. Thanks for your help, friend. Taking stock fair puts me to sleep, but it has to be done. As promised, I'll give you your lumber. What do you need it for anyway? The ladder! You were serious about the ladder? I'll be damned. This guy. If that's the case, please let us help with the work. We're shipwrights with no ships to build, only shacks. Well, it's a living. We all need to do something greater. This fellow you say is in charge. You'd reckon he'd mind the likes of us barging in on his project? Uh, he'd welcome the help. I just got us a personable. 
<laughs> Wonderful. I'll round up the lads and the lasses and we'll head over to the ladder. Along with all the lumber you need. Fuck yeah. Alright. Let's go back to Uriange. Is it snowing for you outside right now? We're getting a lot of rain. It's just rain here as well. Velda was not too pleased with it. I'll never get over your incredible similar speak for Pepper. Thank you. I do my best. Bot was late? Not too late. Bot one on at 7.25. That's not too bad. <laughs> Does Waldo like your hair? He has not seen it. He's asleep. Ooh. Hold on. I want to go do this. I want the XP. Give me the XP. Um, do I just fuck this guy up? Who am I fucking? Uh, no. Am I fucking these guys up? What am I fucking? Oh, I guess these guys. Is it these guys? I don't know. I don't know. The people of Wright have had their fill of pop goblin now cousins raiding their fields. A handful of the hardiest have pledged their sickles and hoes to hammering. To hammering some Hamlet just into the hobby's heads. Though they would not turn away any office assistance in a noble endeavor. Oh, I see. Okay, so I just gotta fuck up these goblins. The pop goblins. Wait, but they're so cute! Look at them! I love them! I don't wanna hurt them! Get in some XP. I'm just trying to get some XP. Fuck. There's only one there. Why did I use that ability? Oh, I see one over here. I'm gonna come pull you. What do you mean you dodged it? In my game, dodging my abilities? No, thank you. I want a refund. I know, these are my people and they want me to fuck them up? No thanks. But a pepper's gonna do what a pepper's gotta do. Me. I wanna play the MSQ. Also me. Hey, what if I killed a bunch of goblins? Did you hear it cry? I was working on my words and I got it from 35 to 40 day. Hell yeah, good job. Good job, Kelsey. Yeah. Did we just the ultimate goblin? You come to my server? And think you're the better goblin? You come to Crystal Goblin and think you can out goblin me? I don't think so. I think leveling my last class a few months ago. Oh hell yeah, I feel strange to ignore the bonus of like, Fates after so long. Honestly, now that I'm no longer leveling Dark Knight and Astrologian or Astro Astrolog whatever the fuck. It feels like really strange. Like I like I don't know. Knowing that I don't have to level my mains anymore is quite a bizarre feeling. But at least now I have like some side content that I can do while I'm playing with friends who are like really into the game. <laughs> Tanking still freaks me out, but I got my helmet after doing a couple of times with friends holding my hands. Hell yeah, good for you. Tanking is a fuckload of fun. <gasps> yes! I got my XP! Now we can go back to the MSQ. Alright. Oi! Let me swap back to Dark Knight! Oi! Thank you! That's how I felt before and, before and once you're loving our jobs, it's like you don't want to stop. Yeah! 
It's low-key really satisfying. It like tickles that itch in my brain. It scratches it, you know? There's always they need a level. Yeah, I, I've got a ton. I've got a ton that need leveling. <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on Reaper and then Dragoon, and then I think I might try to just get Summoner up to uh, up to 90, because it was my, my main originally. Then I wanna do Red Mage, and I think I might do Samurai, and I might work on the other tank classes, and I really wanna learn, um, what is it, Conjurer, and Bard, and Dancer, and Black Mage? Whatever the fuck, I think this turns into Black Mage, right? Thaumaturge? Oh god, and I still have the crafters to do. How do I switch this? There. Oh man, the only one I have up is Alchemist! <laughs> like, and that's only level 16. They level up really fucking fast though. Hey Stacy! Summoner at 90 finally has non-stop buttons to push, but I have to get all the way to 90? You'll be doing a double whammy with Summoner to 90 because Scholar gets leveled with it. Yeah, thank god. <laughs> Do Culinarian if you want a fun story. Okay. Are there any of those job classes? Like, are any of them fun to do on stream? Should I do them all on stream? Y'all want that content? Playing Heaven's Word right now in Horror Chiffon is still being ultimate bro. Like, he has no flaws. I love this guy. He is the fucking best. He is best boy. Do them all in level brackets, like take them through 10 level brackets all at once because eventually they start needing materials made by each other to progress at all. I've actually noticed that. I'm only at level 16, but yeah. I've, I've already begun to, uh, to pick up on that. Want me to say hi for you? Yeah, please do. That's crazy, I found a fellow guy in East person. Yo, what's up? Hello! <gasps> Princess Roko! Princess Roko! I have been meaning to thank you for that big donation that you gave me in December. I have been waiting for you to spawn in my chat since. Thank you so much for supporting me, Princess Roko, and thank you. The hair is quite nice. Let's do what I do and befriend people who hyperfixate on crafting. Why? So you can steal from them? Isn't the Christmas spirit you deserve for Poggy's Xmas Eve stream? Thank you. Crafters slash gatherer streams would be just chatting light in between cutscenes. Could be chill. Yeah, that could be nice. Could be a nice break. They give me free stuff. It's not stealing. Yeah, see exactly what Elise said. You're just taking advantage of them. You befriend them to get the free stuff. That's not fair. That's not nice, Jay. I love all the cr <coughs> the crafting and gathering stories, but the diadem firmament grinding in between isn't all that compelling between steps. I don't know what that means. We're all sims here. Very true. Very true. I have a, ter a pteranodon, so if anyone has questions about crafting, just let me know. Like a dinosaur? You have a dinosaur? How soon until we see Granson again? I don't think we're ever going to see him again, unfortunately. Hey, Jess! Hi, Fennis. I'm trying to sub it to just make me wait to use my Prime sub. It says available on January 12th. God, you're literally ticking down the, the hours, huh? The seconds, even. You see Granson again if you finish all the Shadowbringers job quests? <sighs> you should not have told me that. I have purpose now. I have purpose. John Andy, thank you for the 613 sub. Dentist, thank you for gifting Fennis a sub. Wait, 20? 20 what? Carnage, thank you for the two gifted subs. Thank you so much to everybody that gets gifted a sub. Welcome to the coven. I wish you a badger most and your stay. 20 cries. Yes, the end of the quest line with Granson made me tear up. I didn't, like, cry, but it still counts. Um, Because, like, he finally, like, is able to move on and live his life again. Like, he had his, he got his closure. And it was the moment where he looked up before, like, when he looked up to see, like, Melinda, I believe her name was, before leaving the Crystarium. That got me. That was very cute. That role quest was very, very good. 
I've been told that all the roll quests are super good, um, and the magical ranged one is really sad. So I will be doing all of them, don't worry. But I want to get through Shadowbringers first before we indulge in side content. Because what my plan is... My, so this is my plan. My plan is to finish Shadowbringers. We're only going to focus on the MSQ until it's done. And then while we're in the in-between stage between Shadowbringers and Endwalker, I will be taking a break. I will probably play more Final Fantasy XIV, maybe pick up some new games, maybe revisit some old ones. But... I will take a break from MSQ and do some side content. I'll, I'll go unlock some raids, whatever, and then slowly, slowly, slowly work my way through the patches. Um, 5.0 done, not 5.3. Uh, because unfortunately, I do not want to actually burn out of this game, and I do find that when I play it too consistently, I find myself getting drained very fast. I love the game so much, but it does take a big toll on me. Because it's really emotional, right? So I think doing some some side cues will will help a lot with that, along with just playing some some other games for a little bit. If you do all the rule quests, I recommend doing them before continuing post Shadowbringers. Okay, so after so maybe that should be my first priority then. Yeah, definitely gonna consume it at my own pace. At my own pace. I know a lot of y'all are here to like watch the. Final Fantasy XIV content, and I'm so here for it, but this game is so damn big, I'd be doing Yoshi P and the community and myself, um, like, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be disgracing us if I didn't appreciate every aspect of the game. Not everything is, is gonna tickle my pickle, I'm not gonna do all the side content on stream, unfortunately, but, you know, whatever I can. But early in suppose Shadowbringers, they affect the MSQ and more if you do all of them. Really? Okay, I'm keeping that in mind. I saw myself at points when I felt I was zooming through and then poked around side content. Yeah! Like, I forced myself not to binge all the new stuff. That is impressive. I know... I remember when Endwalker came out, I had some friends who literally finished Endwalker in like three days, three, four days. Like, they did not sleep. I had two friends in particular they like literally hunkered down they bought a lot of like frozen foods and stuff so when they got hungry they could just go heat it up come to back to their pc hear the ding go get the food sit in front of their pc and keep eating <laughs> the fact that we did a secret ending slash episode like in other final fantasy and kingdom hearts games ooh, i like that i like that but now that's that's making me nervous what if i miss out on something <laughs> Losing sleep because of this game can never be me. All right, Elise. Whatever you say. All right. Ah, thou art returned. Wert thou able to procure the lumber? Well, well, to secure not only the material, but the eager cooperation of the shipwrights. Besides, their expertise shall greatly avail our efforts. Master Chai's own efforts have not been without struggle, but he hath proven himself to be determined to be a determined soul. I doubt not I doubt not but that the work oh, shall be complete ere long, and we may continue on our way once more. Though it hath been years in the making, at long last do the people stand united in defiance of the world's fate, and their hopes spurring us ever onward towards journey's end. Whatsoever may await us when thou takest those final steps, I pray that it shall be with a smile upon thy face. Yeah, we'll see about that one. You won't, we'll warn you. Good. <laughs> I tried to pace Endwalker, but the final zone sucked me in so hard that I couldn't stop, and I ended up staying awake all night to finish it against my will, and then I had to go to work and just sit there, consumed with emotions <laughs> and sleepiness. Thank God streaming is my work, because I can sit here and cry and fall asleep if I wanted to. Omg, I love the wig. Pepper Lord, let's go. Thank you, Nissan! Thank you. Y'all, speak up the I told y'all I would commit. I'm committing to the bit, okay? <laughs> if there's one thing I'm good at, it's commitment. Sometimes. <laughs> I'm already sweaty. I opened, like, all of my windows, and I'm already stinky. Uriange is wearing a pensive look. Ah, but prematurely do I give myself to sentimental musings. Many more pressing concerns demand our attention, not the least of which is the matter of how we might reach the mountain, detached from the land as it is. 
For the present, would appear we have matters here well in hand. Perhaps thou shouldst take thine ease for a time? Thou wilt need every ons of thy strength for the trials ahead. Uh, wait for the work to be completed? Wow, what a great, what a great quest point. Thank you. All right, I'm, I'm waiting. Pepper, that's how you're waiting? Just staring at a box? A wooden crate? You know what, girl? You do you. Whatever makes you happy. Oh, not the sad music. <clears throat> I'm just chilling there watching. Would you look at that? The citizens of Yulemore engaging in what can only be described as manual labor. Who would have thought it possible? All right, mister. I'm so uncomfortable. Why is there this like sentimental music Do you music know play? the most reliable way to deal with those who stubbornly refuse to see reason? Spanking? <laughs> you conquer them, crush them under heel. Such was the trusted method of Alec, and one steel favored by Garlemald. Close. But conquest is the easy part. The true challenge begins once the dust has settled, quenching the glowing embers of animosity and maintaining a semblance of peace. This requires the conqueror to treat the conquered with dignity and the conquered to let bygones be bygones. A difficult feat to achieve. What is he getting at here? But you have achieved just that, to my considerable surprise. It's a compliment. Take it. No! I don't want to take a compliment from you. his energy. I love his energy so much, but don't let anyone know that I said that. Ah, the vibrant energy that fills the air when like-minded souls gather. To think back on that time before time, fair brings a tear to the eye. Does he want me to, like, conquer him, too? Because, like... What? Or vice versa? You thought ancient beings like us incapable of crying? Well, yes. rest assured that if your heart can be broken, then so can mine. No! Stop humanizing yourself around me. This is Back making things when very difficult. When the world difficult. was whole, we had family, friends, loves. I'm getting a lot of mixed feelings here. Men knew peace and contentment, and with our adamant souls, we could live for an age. There was no conflict born of want or disparity. Our differences paled into insignificance next to all we had in common. And then there was Amarot. Never was a city more magnificent. Amarot? From the humblest streets the to the highest spires, the hot bikini she streamer? fairly gleamed. Not that you would remember any of this. Why I would? Is the story going somewhere? Yeah, what do you mean by remember? I... I wasn't there? Unless there was a version of me there that I don't know about? Are you mistaking me for somebody else? Cause like... Never mind. No! The point is, the world of old was a far no! better Tell place than what more. we have now. I believe you would like it, having witnessed the things you have. You gonna show me? You gonna restore Remember, and show me? Oh. you are of the source. Unlike the half-men here, you stand only to gain. Should you survive the remaining calamities, you will become our equal. A complete existence in a complete world. But such talk is a pleasure for later. Back to work, hero. The whiplash of Granson calling me sinner and him calling me hero? Ah, 
There was one thing I had meant to ask. What? How well do you know the Exarch? Has he ever deigned to show you what hides beneath the cow? No! But it's... Ah! No, never? Even to you? How very Tra interesting. I it's Grahatia. I should I enjoy still... working out what it means. Until next time. Chat, it is Grahatia. I am telling you fucking right now. That man was locked up in the Crystal Tower. That man is all blueed up and stonied and hard. That is Mr. Anthony Bridgerton! Oh, I knew you could do it, dearest. I never doubted you for a moment. They did the thing! They did the thing! It's alive. Unlike you. <laughs> so I don't know sorry. if you remember, but I'm so sorry. when we first met in this world, <laughs> that was not nice. I was all but spent. I never thought to wonder why until now. I think it all just got to be too much. The guilt of causing the flood. Knowing everyone hated me. But the worst thing was the solitude. Time wears you down, I. But solitude eats away at you. It was this close to finishing me off. But as bad as it got, and as empty as I felt, I can't even begin to imagine what it must be like for Emmett Selk. All of which is a long way of saying, don't make a choice that leaves you alone. Nothing is worth that, especially not eternity. My heart is over here, but... <laughs> Glad tidings, my friend. The ladder lives again. I'm getting like emotional. The three of us dash. have been invited to do the honors. Are you up for it? Of course, if you're worried that the whole thing might come crashing down, we can always find someone else. Girl, I love your puns, but I'm, I'm going, I'm having a moment right now. That's the spirit. Come on then. Ugh. I'm having a moment. I, I could not imagine. You rode the ladder too, my comrades and I. Once upon a time. Watch the horizon grow, and the town shrink below us. Awed and terrified in equal measure, we ascended without a word, the silence broken only by the rhythm of the gears. No one but me remembers that day. Remembers our journey and our end. Why? Retread the path. Warrior of Light, Seek, why must you be so sweet? And you sweet? may yet find. Why must you be such a good bean? I'm trying to be stoic. I'm trying to be badass. I'm trying to not catch feels right now. And you put me through that. <laughs> you put me through that. Oh. Well. I may not have sobbed, but I, I'm crying, okay? Y'all win. I'm crying. Honestly though, like I can't, I can't imagine having to live with such immense regret, but not even that, having to live it alone, like live through that feeling on my own forever whether it's because no one else can see me like Ardbart or Ardvark Ardbert whatever his name is 
Or Emmett, where, like, maybe I'm pushing a lot of people away or I'm choosing the life of solitude. I still don't know, like, too much about his broodiness, but... Man. That little gesture from the Warrior of Light? Fuck, man. Oh. <laughs> Cry counter is legal drinking age in the U.S. <laughs> No, that hurts. <sighs> I, I, this, so this, oh, some of the characters that this game is making me meet remind me a lot of something that I was talking about, um, regarding the show Sex Education. Sometimes they introduce you to bad characters or characters who do, who do a lot of bad things, but they humanize them in a way where you don't necessarily feel bad for them, but you understand them, you know? I mean, Aardvark I feel bad for, but... And I think, I think that's, like, super beautiful. I like that, you know? I don't want to have to relate to the victim. I don't want to have... Or the victim, the, the, um, the villain. Like, I don't want to have to have the villain be victimized all the time. But, like, if I can... Not even the villain, but you know, like those like more edgy characters. It's like I want to at least be able to understand them. Yeah, Nakuti is the new Doctor Who. I fucking love Sex Education. That's such a beautiful show. It's a antagonist, so more more like antihero, you know. And I'm using Sex Ed as a as an example because Sex Education doesn't necessarily have antagonists. They just have really developed characters, you know? Isn't the doctor just David Tennant again? No, it's Nakuti Gatwa. I may not ever be this dude's friend, but I know what's going on in their head and I understand why they are the way they are. Exactly, exactly. I may not, you, like, yeah. They may not be someone that I want to be with, but it's someone that I can, like, respect and understand. Oh, like, is Shooty? Is it Nashuti? Nashuti. Hi, Caleb! Thank you for the 40 month resub! Alright. Okay. Alright, let's see. Oh, I I love your mouth. It's, you're, it's very cute. Wingstop? Someone named their flaming chocobo Wingstop. Beautiful. Alrighty. Hi, Elfino. What's up? And here we are at top rung. The other should arrive here long. Oh. Elfino, Pepper, come up here. There's something I need you to see. Where is she? Up there? Where Sparks is? What could this be about? I don't know. We're gonna go find out. No, 40 months is wild. You've been here for a long time, but I'll never acknowledge you, Caleb. Did you, didn't you know that? We'll never be friends, Caleb. <laughs> Whatever the fuck it was that those uh, people on Twitter were saying. Wait, where am I? Where am I going? Oh, did I miss it? Was the other area? Let's find Doctor Who. Effectively, what happened at Christmas was temporary, as they're publicly announced a new Doctor for a year from now. Yeah, what dissatisfied said. <laughs> Hi, Omni! How are you? I did a bit of writing for my Warrior of Light once where I phrased it as like, seeing yourself mirrored in the enemy across the field and how important that is if you ever hope for real peace. Beautiful. That was beautiful. There's a village, Pepper. Over to the northeast. So there is. Wait, where? Oh, over there. That settlement? Yeah, after two decades of the latter in operation, I would not be surprised if such an isolated sell settlement had long since been abandoned. Nor I, but that was before I spied someone leave it and proceed to head in our direction, all the while trying to remain unseen. Whoever this mysterious person is, they should still be out there. Go on and take a look, Pepper. Alright. Search your surroundings for the mysterious person. You may move the camera. Alright. Okay, let's find this mysterious person. Do y'all see somebody? I 
I don't. Is it that? No, that's a stick or something. Oh, is it a lollafell? What is that? Is that them? That's a bird. <laughs> that's a fucking bird. Um. Also, how am I doing this? Do I just have a pair of binoculars? Do they want me to look at the... Is it... Is it you? Oh, it is you. Hello. How do you know that I spotted you, bro? How did you know? Did you see my eyeball just enlarge? Like, how do you know this? You've located the mysterious person. However, it seems he has likewise spotted you and hurriedly turns back to the village. Alrighty. <laughs> he felt my left click. My left click was just too strong for him. Pepper, you look so stupid. But I respect it. There's someone, right? They were spying on us. Personally, I don't feel comfortable not knowing who they are. What do you say we investigate? I'm curious too, I best admit, and I dare say we have a bit of time here the others ascend. So this is what we're doing, this is how we're spending our time? It's settled then, let's head to the village and see if it's indeed inhabited. Well, if there's somebody there, then of course it's an Alize. Darling, sweet buttercup, petunia, baby sugar plum. Come on. Oh, can I not? Can I not? Can I not? No? Game? Please. Please. Game! Really? Really? This game and its fucking borders. Oh, Jeff! How are you? It's nice to see you! How you doing? Look, the shoe bill was the only thing that stood out to me, okay? <laughs> Hashtag get pepper stool! Bye, Silvalis! Take care! Pepper can't see over the rail. No, she's baby. She's short, okay? Imagine doing that scene as a Lollafell. Alright, so I'm going this way. I'm not going to get the ether up just yet. That is a that is a hefty golem. Hey Grinch, what's up? I was good to see you just before I gotta go get groceries. Ooh, what's on your menu for tonight? What are you getting at the uh, grocery store? I want to go get cookies. I want more snackies. I want snackies. I want snackies. Were these the guys that I said had a big dick? Or were those the other golems? I think those must have been the other golems, right? That wig looks so good. Thank you, guy. Thank you. I'm, I'm currently Pepper. My uh, Pepper's hair is a little bit more straight than this wig's, but, you know, cosplay girls make do. <laughs> How are you guys? It's nice to see you. All right, I'm here. Sausages. Mm. Food has been hung out to dry in the sun, and quite recently by your reckoning. Ah, oh, yes, I'm really good at identifying meat. I've seen a lot of meat in my days. Thank you. Alright, filling up a wall. Oh, you hear faint sounds from inside the building. Whoever the door refuses to budge. Okay, so there's people in there. Or maybe an animal. Oh, a bar. Half empty cup. Are they all hiding? The cups are half empty or half full, depending on how you see things. Behind the counter, a kettle bubbles steadily over the stove. Oh. So there were people here, but now they're hiding. I would think. Or maybe they ran away. Or maybe it's just the one kid. Fine, thank you for the nine months. What news, Pepper? Were you able to find anything of note? People are definitely still living here. I couldn't find our mysterious person. Maybe this place really is abandoned. Uh, people are definitely still living here. Indeed. Well, there's no one to be seen. It's plain that this village is anything but abandoned. If the villagers are trying to conceal themselves, they are doing a rather poor job of it. But if they don't wish to be seen, what are we to do? Ignore them? <laughs> Leave them alone? Oh, someone's coming. Is it the people in that home? I say, aren't you the ones who saved my life? I'll 
think I recognize those shoes. Did I save him from Yulmore? Because that's the person... Oh my god, yes! You're Tristel, the artist from Yulmore! Right! Oh my god! You remembered. Ever since we parted ways, I've worried for you, bound for the city as you were. Never did I imagine that we would meet again, and here of all places. We could say the same, the very same to you, my friend. I'm glad to see you hail and whole. But tell me, what is this village? This is Amity, a settlement made up of those who survived being exiled from Yulmore. Oh shit. As I wandered the wilds, I chanced across paths with an inhabitant of these parts. Why did I say it like that? He took me through a secret tunnel which led to the top of the Bright Cliff. I've been here ever since. Life is hard, but we know a semblance of peace. Well, we did at any rate, until the Mount Gold bo broke away from the earth. Then just suddenly, the ladder started moving again. And you feared whoever was coming up would threaten your lives. Aye, but I see now there's no cause for concern. Will you tell me what has brought you up here? Yes, I will. So Vrathru is a sin eater, and he's fled to Mount Golg. It's a strange tale, but I have no reason to doubt your words. I owe you my life. If there is anything I can do to help, you need but say the word. Your help would be most welcome, Tristel. To begin with, we request your people's permission to... How do you pronounce that word? Re... Re... Co Reconnoiter? Recon water? Whatever. If we are to confront Vothri, we must find a way to reach Mount Golg. Of course, you hardly need our permission to lead. Or... To be here. I will tell the others about you and yours. Now, we haven't much to offer in the way of hospitality, but our village is at your disposal. Please use it as you see fit in your quest. Reconnoiter? 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 So it is pronounced the way that it looks. That's rare. I almost never find a word in this fucking game that is pronounced how it looks. <laughs> Davy, hi, hello! Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. How you doing? How are you? It's nice to see you. Oh, I'm. I have all my my windows open because like I'm, I'm sweaty. I don't know like what's been going on with my body, but I've been very sweaty lately. Like I just keep sweating. My armpits just keep sweating. Reconnoiter. Reconnoiter. Recon. Wait. If it's French, would it? Would it? Wouldn't it be reconnoiter? Or trail. Trail. There is definitely a market for that. Do you want some sweat? Do you want my armpit sweat? Elise is eager to get on with the task. Ooh, dwarven mithril whip and kufr. Well. Yet another hapless soul that Alfie knows saved from the mortal danger. I see. Some things never change. <laughs> Elise wants to explore with me. Pepper and I are going to scout the area. We'll be back in a while. Uh oh. Very well then. Just take care out there. I didn't actually agree to this, Alize, but because I love you, I will accompany you. Okay. So I'm guessing we're gonna go to Tomra? No, we're going. Oh, we're going up here. There it is. To, to some of the homes up there. What is this? Is that a sign? Did they make a post? can't read it but it is pointing in both of these directions so when your body can't sweat then you're in trouble well it's a good thing I'm overheating then and it's like yeah like I'm not even actually hot I'm not actually overheating I'm just sweaty I don't know why the path diverges let's split up so we can cover more ground I'll go east if you'd be so kind as to head west okay so I will be going to you can aim to meet at the foot of the mountain, taking note of what we see over the place. In a short while, then. <laughs> uh, disagree. Thank you, Gain. Much appreciated. Alright. Okay. Hopefully this keeps me a little bit warmer. Otherwise, I'll have to grab a heating pad. Oh! 
I am naturally hot, it's true, thank you. <laughs> Shout out to my jeans, vibes. It's freezing where I am at and my space are dead this morning. No! Oh, that sucks. I have a tiny space heater and it's from Amazon and it's really bad. I think I'm gonna throw it out. Oh, this is so cute. I wanna ride it. And I don't mean that in a sexy way for once. I'm so cold, chat. Oh, forgiven jealousy? Hello, it's me. Chat, are you jealous people? Do you, do you get jealous easily? I tell myself that I don't, but in reality, I do. In reality, I can get quite jealous very easily. All right, I am going to adjust my window because I'm, I'm fucking cold. My headset fell. Ooh. All right. Hopefully, all that makes a difference. <gasps> no! My headset. My brand new headset has suffered the same fate as my previous one. It fucking broke. Oh my god. No shot. No shot. I just bought this a few months ago. Fuck me. It always gets like caught on my on my thing and then it just fucking like falls and then just breaks. Shit. All right, hold on, chat. romantic jealousy but I have but I haven't really been tested I've experienced not just romantic jealousy well mostly not romantic jealousy actually mostly just like um what's the word I'm looking for like platonic jealousy that's like going through trauma like the warrior of light no seriously it's going just like pepper all right we're good I don't know I have a really big problem with most of my friends where like I'm always left out of things until last minute and if not last minute I'm the one that has to like bring up things do you know what I mean so I think that's where a lot of my jealousy comes from being just left out continuously no it's cool that you can't come to hang out with me to go hang out with the other person that's fine yeah I've had that happen so many fucking times, but that's the thing. All the times that it's happened, they've never told me that, like, oh, something else came up and I want to go do that. It's just, like, they've lied to me about it, and I've found out, and that's what sucked. Because that's where I'm like, what? Like, you could have just told me, you know? All my best friends hung out with me on my birthday one year. That was a fun time. Oh, I remember you talking about that. Fucking assholes. Jealousy? Yeah, the fucking jealousy. The one OC I don't want. Are they good friends? No, they're not even friends anymore. They're not my friends anymore. I am obsessed with their helmets. Are these just Lollafell? 
in in these little helmets. I am obsessed. I love them. I love these guys. They're dwarves? Oh. That's even better. That's even better. I love them. I love their little... I... 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 I love them. The beards... And the outfit... Amazing. Oh, there are the laws that are called dwarves? Wait. Like in the way that the Mikos are called... Oh fuck, I don't even remember what the Mikos are called. But the, like, the Hyor and the Hooms. My friends will forget to invite me to cool hangouts or forget they made plans for me and cancel. That's so fucking mean. I think it just depending on where I am mentally. If I'm having a rough go of things and the, the onus of communication is on me, I get really jelly to see vibe without reaching out. That's fair. I get FOMO pretty easily, but... I feel like if I'm in a bad mood, I'm just happy to be home at that point, you know? Ah, yes, the mistles. <laughs> Y'all have friends? <laughs> oh boy. My hair is herring. You're a sight for sore eyes. I don't know about you, but I bumped into quite a few sin eaters out there. Yeah, I did too, babes. That's gotta stop it on there, I'm gonna stop it on there. You too, then. It seems the closer we get to Mount Gulg, the more of them there are. That's so cool, though. Looks a lot bigger from here, doesn't it? I don't know what those, like, rays are supposed to be, but it's kind if of If I were Vorthry, the first thing I'd do is surround myself with as many Sin Eaters as I could lay my hands on. Up there. And judging by the number we've already faced, his lordship is of the same mind. This is going to be a tough climb. We got this, Alize. But first things first. We need to determine if climbing is even an option. The more I look, the less likely it seems. It does seem like we're gonna have to fly Ishtar up. is right to be worried. But flying may be our only choice yeah, after all. Yeah, it's not connected to anything. Like, what else are we gonna do? Oh? Sentries? Hello? The dwarves are gonna help there us, you are. aren't they? Oh. Master Alphano was afeard you had met with some misfortune. And you too, Exarch. They brought Anthony what brings Bridgerton. you here? They brought him. I wish to observe the final struggle with my own eyes. I arrived at Bottom Rung too late to accompany you, but I was in time to join Urianger and the others. Come, let us see how this unfolds. Yes, sir. What are these? What's? Oh my God. <laughs> Why are some of the city eaters so goddamn fun? <gasps> they go kaboom! Oh, that was not a good kaboom. That's just the only well, one like Well, it that. seems flying is off the table. If we have learned that much, then the Machina have served their purpose. So that's what they were for. Wasteful, but effective. It would seem our foe will not be reached by land or air. We must needs withdraw to consider another course. Bring him to us? Master Alphano waiteth for us at top rung. Thither should we make our way. Love the pixels on his weapon. <laughs> Huh. I don't know what they're gonna 
do then? Can they like teleport? Because this, like, I the only thing that I could think of personally is like baiting him to us, baiting him down. But I don't see how we'd be able to do that. I don't know what we would have to do. <laughs> they brought Mr. Bridgerton along for the treat. For a treat. Our treat. What's it called when a Lollafell when Lollafell Sean Connery becomes overwhelmed with light and transforms? A shin eater? That was terrible. Did I know? Wait, what? What the fuck are you saying to me? Did I not suggest that thou shouldst carry yonder tome known as Google? Did I say thou wouldst be forced to contend with many trials such as uncovering new tongues whilst you wandered hither and thither? Oh, why would you end it with thither? Thither. 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 That is like the one fucking word that has defeated me. I don't care if I can't pronounce half the words that the characters in this game say, but thither, 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 thither. Hey, it's me, Saichania. It's me. Thither, thither. Th say it with me, chat. Thither. It almost sounds like you're saying scissors with little thithers. I know! Thither. Thither! I fucking hate it here. Enjoy your lyric, Oba Obaka. Oba, 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 Rock, paper, thithers. <laughs> Thither me thimbers. I call help it, babes. I call help it. Hither, thither, wither in your thither. Can the stream just be side saying thither? No! That's just bullying! Thither! Hmm. I didn't see, expect to see the chais here. Though I suppose it's well within their rights. Oh yeah, they're here. At any rate, it's time to tackle our, little, our next little obstacle. Finding a way to reach Mount Golg. For this, we'll need to put all our heads together. I got an item. Oh yeah. Elise would share the findings of her scouting mission with everyone. Please tell me it's voiced. Bring, brum, brum. In short, there's no path. And the sky is thick with Vorthry's winged devils. We might consider Amaro, but without extensive training, we cannot hope to contend with the Eaters. Yulmor's airship fleet, meanwhile, consists solely of transport vessels ill suited for battle. And without the expertise of one such as Sid, we are in no position to attempt a refit. So true, Busty. So frustrating! That wretched mountain should jolly well come back down to us! Now, now, dearest, we mustn't disturb these good people at their work. We've ridden the ladder and seen the sights. It's past time we took our leave. Could we bring it down to us? The lady may well have the right of it. <laughs> She's so happy. <laughs> Mount Gulg will not soon come down to Earth, nor can we compel it to do so. But if the mountain will not come to the land, mayhap the land may be made to come to the mountain. In the form of a Talos. A Talos large enough to reach out and take the volcano in its grasp. Now how the fuck are we gonna get to build something such a like golem that? would be an onerous undertaking indeed. Yet the principle seemeth sound in itself. Boulder Dash! No one has ever made one even half that size. Boulder Dash. Leaving aside the small matter of logistics, which, by the way, would be no small matter, the design would be unimaginably complex. Though, I suppose, hmm, if its only function is to cling to the ruddy mountain, perhaps it needn't be. Oh? 
Can you whip something up? Solid base. Firmly rooted to the ground. Sacrifice mobility to simplify the construction. Reducing materials required. He knows? He can do it? Wait, wait, wait. What am I thinking? We would still need a veritable army of people to do the work. The dwarves. Left to the crew that helped down below, it would take decades, if not a nice round century. So we need more hands. And what sort of things would these hands be required to do? Oh, uh, well, uh, well, let's see. First, we need people to procure the stone for the chassis. The rock found in the mountain would suit our purposes well enough. It'd be a simple task to quarry the stuff, but I given the stupendous God, quantity required, we'd need all quests? the help we can get. If they make me do fetch quests... We have friends amongst the miners of Armoring. I will go and petition their aid. While you do that, I'll make for Maud Souk. I'm sure I'll be able to drum up some support. Then I shall return to Calusia. From fishers to carpenters, Yulmore is home to all manner of talented folk. All I dare together. say their skills will avail us. In harmony. To build is a Is there golem. anything else you need? Well, yes, actually. Magic. Lots of the stuff, as much as possible. To awaken a talus of this size would require an entire congregation of mages. Many among the Knights Blessed are gifted in the arcane arts. I will recruit them <gasps> to our cause. Do we get to see her boyfriend again? Or her would-be boyfriend? The Fey Folk, too, possess ah, surpassing true. aptitude in magics. Yet they are not wont to cooperate in the endeavors of men. Leastwise, not without making all manner of mischief. That being the case, I would instead call upon the people of the Crystarium. <gasps> with thy permission, Exarch. We are at your disposal, as are our Amaro and Chocobos. I'm sorry. You mean to tell me you can call on not only the people of Yulmore and the Crystarium, <laughs> but the Knights Blessed and the Maud, and even those miners? Don't you know who we are? But that's just about everyone in Bally Norvrad. Who are you people? <laughs> and how did you come to have so many friends? We are the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Oh, just, yeah, just smile at him. Oh. Um, the saviors of the world, adventurers of no import, the artist Alfino and his assistants. <laughs> oh, dearest, have you forgotten already? Alfino told us that when we first met. <laughs> um, actually, th that may not have been... Uh, no, never mind. Oh, I love them so much. So, as you can see, you will not want for bodies. I trust you will have your design ready in good time for their arrival. Norvrant is counting on you, heir to Daedalus Stoneworks. That's it, Daedalus Stoneworks. That's what he was the heir to. <laughs> Like, what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> we'll be back as soon as we can, and we'll bring the whole world with us. Hell yeah. This seems like it's gonna take fucking eons. And oh, wait, am I just gonna vibe? What am I gonna do with Anthony Bridger Bridgerton? I take it we will be assisting Master Chai, though I am quite sure he has everything under control. What if you just took off your cowl so I could see what you are? <laughs> He's like, oh, <laughs> amazing. The audacity dentist of you to try getting text to speech working and have it say thither. Oh, she got me to say thither. <laughs> Hi, hero. Is it pronounced hero? Hi, Ru. Hello. I know. I love the chai. Love the hair. Thank you. 
A match pepper. Look. I'm simply baby. Have a design ready, she says. In a good time, she says. Does she even understand what's involved? Before I can even attempt to design anything, I need intimate knowledge of the land. The knowledge of the locals. Last I heard, no one lives here. Actually, What? A village of Yulmore in exiles? But those people have every reason to loathe the free citizen like me. They couldn't possibly be willing to cooperate. Oh, this will never work. Never. I never should have fixed that ruddy lift. Never should have ridden it up here. Never should have. Never should have. I'm so sorry, bestie. Do something. Oh dear, darling appears to have lost the plot. But he has it in him, Pepper. He's the cleverest man I know. He just wants for confidence sometimes. If you were to give him some words of encouragement, I'm sure he would. He can give you your talos. A bit of advice to learn from his mother. He responds poorly to obvious praise. You'll need to find another way to stoke the fires of his motivation. Awaken his sense of daring. You're his wife! Why do I have to do this? Why me? Oh, I hate... Duty? This is a duty? China's is plagued with self-doubt. I can't do it. No one can. A talus of that size? No one's ever dreamed of it. Alfie no one struggled to collect firewood. Delia's counting on you as well. You're a genius. Ooh, Delia? Alfie no? Alfie no one struggled to collect firewood. He did? But he's such a capable lad, brimming with confidence. Hmm. I suppose even the most capable among us has struggles to overcome. China still harbors some misgivings. Regardless of my own feelings, I can't do a damn thing without help from those villagers. And they're not badly likely to give it. Tristel's among them. You said so yourself. Lest you've forgotten, we essentially sent him to his death. Even if the others don't bear a personal grudge, he would never forgive us. You don't know until you apologize. I'll come with you. Don't worry, he'll forgive you. Things will improve by themselves. You have to take the first step. Um... You have to take the first step? No, I'll come with you. So you don't feel alone. Maybe. Yeah! Hmm. If you were there too, perhaps he'd be more willing to accept an apology. Wait, what am I thinking? Relying on others to fight my battles. It's disgraceful is what it is, and it might even make things worse. Ugh, oh, China still harbors some misgivings. And in the end, it's not even a question of forgiveness. Building such as such an enormous well, building such an enormous talos is impossible, and no amount of contrition will change that. Contrition? And even if by some miracle the people of Amity were willing to let bygones be bygones, they'd think that the plan is absurd. I think it's absurd. It's less absurd than the change that's come to Yulmore. We liberate a castle with a strategy that many would call absurd. Everything you touched was the gold. Um, yeah, we liberated a castle. Well now, to flood the very castle you sought to reclaim, such a strategy could indeed be considered absurd. Yet you succeeded not in spite of, but because of it. Our own strategy may likewise seem absurd, but maybe, just maybe, it sends a better chance of success for it. Finos is feeling somewhat optimistic. Hey, I'm fucking, I'm killing it here. Be that as it may, there are risks to consider should the venture fail. Well, I got hair in my mouth. I imagine for a moment that we fail to reach Bothry and only succeed in provoking him. In his fury, he may well unleash his hordes of eaters and will meet a horrible end. Then we'll go together, I'll protect you. We could build Talos for battle. Ah, uh, uh, oh. I'll protect you? Fuck. Yeah, I'll protect you, bro. Don't worry. Oh, did he not like that? <gasps> I see what you did there. That's how you win over the masses with that irrepre irrepressible aura of dependability. But very well, you've made your conviction clear, and I'm assured in spite of myself. I won't let my fears get the better of me. It's unseemly. It's unseemly, if nothing else. Yes! He's burning with motivation, babes! Oh, he did it! Are we just freezing? Freed are we just feeding his praise kink? Nah, we're not really praising him. Yes, yes, by the gods. I could do this. I just need to have a little faith in myself. I am the one with the praise kink here. And so far, no one is praising me. <laughs> right, let's head to Amity and speak with the villagers, with Tristel. My love, things are liable to become more dangerous. I want you to wait for me back at Newlemore. Nope, wherever you go, I'm going to. Besides, you're not the only one who has to apologize. 
But there's no telling what may happen out here. I don't know if I can keep you safe. Oh, perhaps this is a bad idea after all. I don't think I have what it takes. <gasps> Stop it. <gasps> Bridgerton? Master Chai, that you are beset with doubt is proof that you can envision the task ahead. And that which man can envision, he can make reality. Thus did some old friends of mine once say. Even should it be a feat fit for the divine, if something had been done has been done before, then it most assuredly can be done again by our own hands. That's a little idealistic, don't you think? Ha 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 ha! Perhaps, Master Chai, perhaps. But what is man if not an idealistic creature? It is not an easy thing to achieve one's dreams. My friends can attest to that. Countless times do they meet with frustration in the course of their endeavors. None would have found fault with them had they given up. Yet they never did. One step after the next, they forged on towards their goals. And for their determination, they accomplished numerous feats that many believe lay beyond the reach of mankind. Like them, you are a man of science. Amidst your doubts, surely there is a spark of desire. Desire to make the impossible possible. Mm. We did the thing. We motivated the man. Come, darling. Like the old days, I would be the first to see your Talos. Oh? I'm gonna start saying that. That's my new pickup line. I'm gonna be the first to see your Talos, baby. And you shall be, my dear. I would have none other at my side when my greatest masterpiece awakens. <laughs> and they better say that back! Oh, my Talos! Uh, it's awakening! I'm glad my words struck a chord. Shall we? We shall. Other detail animations on the Miko ears, the wiggles are adorable. I know! Like when Pepper eats food? Hold on. Look at this. <laughs> it's so fucking cute. <laughs> I showed you my Talos, please respond. My Talos is awakening, please! What the fuck was that? Oh, someone's fighting. Alright, so we're going this way. Is this just a settlement, right? Yeah. Alright, let's go to Amity. I love the the subtle animations in this game. I love that like each race has their own like their own version of some of the emotes. It's fucking fantastic. Like even the ones that you buy, everyone kind of does them a little bit differently. Love it. Love those details in a game. They kind of got vaginas on their faces. Sort of into it. All right, walnut. Well met, my friend. Oh, you're a bunny. If you are thinking of staying here, know that life in Amity is hard and often dangerous. You will find no luxuries as you would in Yulmore, but you will feel alive. I will, will I? Alright, what's up, Tristel? You! You have every right to be angry with us, but please listen to what I have to say. I am tasked with delivering these people to Mount Gulk by means of a Talos of heretofore unseen proportions. However, I cannot do this without the cooperation of those with intimate knowledge of this land. That is, you and your fellow villagers. Cooperation? After you ignored my desperate pleas and cast me out, you have the gall to come here and ask for my cooperation? You have every right to be upset. Vothri is not the one to blame for your suffering. We are. We were free citizens without a care in the world, indifferent to the hardship of others. We didn't know what would become of you, and frankly, we didn't care. But we know now that what we did to you, full many, was wrong. Terribly wrong. No words will suffice to make amends, but I want you to know that we are deeply sorry. 
I wouldn't forgive them. But I mean, if it's to save the world, I guess I can put it aside. I'm not sure how I feel. Should I forgive you? Hate you? Perhaps not even my place to judge. After all, I sought a place in your city. I wanted to be you once. But one thing is clear to me. All of that is in the past, and we mustn't let past wrongs send the way of a brighter future. Amen. And so, I will cooperate with you. Please see our friends to Mount Golg. You have my word. I like that. I'm glad that he didn't forgive them. I'll set to work on design at once. Wouldn't do... Wouldn't do to have nothing to show the others when they return with help. Make no mistake, this venture is unprecedented in the history of Talos building. Nay, the history of all mankind. Rest assured, the geni this genius of... Da of is it pronounced Daedalus? Daedalus Stone Royce will deliver. Hell yeah. Good job, buddy. Love the Wild West vibes of this village. I know, yeah. That's kind of the energy that I was getting. I couldn't quite put my tongue on it. You took it out of my mouth. Oh, wicked white! White people? Is there a problem? Well, uh, you see, I can promise people to procure the stone as well as imbue magic. When I was put on the spot earlier, I thought that was all we required. But I forgot about one rather important item that n item needed to bring a talus to life. The heart? <laughs> the heart? That's right, the heart. I'm pleased to see you have some familiarity with Talos. With golems. Which I guess is the same thing. So while I work on the design, I'd be much obliged if you could see to procuring the ore with which to fashion a heart. Oh yes! Our suitable of bringing to life a Talos that shall embrace a very uh, firmament. Didn't I have to like fight these like enemies in a, in a mine that had them growing on its back? Something like that, right? Person knows people who may be able to assist in your search for ore. If you seek material for the Talos' heart, I know people who may be able to assist. They are the Tholes, a dwarven family that have long mined this land. No one knows its bounty as well as they. If you explain your situation, I'm sure they'd be willing to cooperate. Indeed, t'was one of them that showed me the secret tunnel to the top of the cliff. You'll find the, the Tholes at their village in the northwest, a place called T Tamra. When you arrive, seek an audience with Chief Zamot. And do not forget to greet him with a hearty lolly ho! A hearty lolly ho? Permit me to join you, Pepper. I would keep my joints limber, and mayhap I can provide some manner of assistance. No worries, bestie. You can stay limber with me. I'll help keep you limber. I'll leave the heart to the two of you, then. The variety of ore doesn't matter, so long as it's rich with ether. I'll aim to have my design complete by your return. Sounds good. <sighs> okay. Let's go here now. You know, I really thought that this part of the quest line would be more intriguing. Not that intriguing. It's not getting to me yet. But we'll get there. We'll get there. So this is Tamra. Look at them. Seldom do we see the Dwarven folk at the Crystarium to now be in the presence of so many. I shall enjoy not having to crane my neck for a change. <laughs> yeah, you are kind of short, buddy. Hello? Yes? Lally ho! Lally ho! What did you just call me? <laughs> what did you just call me? It's a greeting, lass. A lally ho for a lally ho. That's the way it works. Just call me a fucking ho. Come, let's try it again. Lally ho. Lally ho. She does not look pleased. Pepper does not look happy. <laughs> All right, your turn. Come on, Mr. Bridgerton. <laughs> hmm, not bad, not bad. But there's room for improvement. 
Any road, now that we've observed common courtesy, who are you and what are you doing here? At the recommendation of the denizens of Amity, we have come to seek the aid of the Thal family. May we speak with Chief Zamut? Why, yes you may! I am Zamut, and I bid you welcome to Tamra. If it's the folk of Amity, if it's the folk of Amity what sent you here, you must have quite a tale to tell. Come, let's hear it. Well, well, and there I thought those below had no fight left in them. Having said that, it's not like we know how to deal with that floating volcano and all them sin eaters neither. If you're serious about restoring peace to these parts, though, we'll gladly lend you a hand. Oh, that was easy. On one condition, though? What are your requirements? Oh my god. However, the kind of ore you seek is precious to us, too. If I let you have it, only for you to bungle things up and squander it, like, no amount of ale will wash away my chagrin. I love the term bungle. It's amazing. First, I need to make sure you're worthy by means of a trial. What? A trial most tricksy, passed down through the line of Thal. Are you fucking kidding? And what is this trial? <laughs> Come with me and I'll tell you all. What do they want me to do? Do they want me to lally ho? Lally ho myself to victory? Have a lally ho down showdown? Or a, what is it? Showdown? Throwdown? I don't know. Lally ho down throwdown? Fucking. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see. Where am I going? Over here. Alright, what's up? <laughs> Listen well. As you know, we're a mining folk, and in the mining life, danger is a constant companion. So when we come of age, each of us must prove our readiness to take to the mines. This we do by undertaking a trial, what tests the three traits all good miners can't do without. Discernment, diligence, and dexterity. We call it 3D Mine Runner. I hate it. Now, look on my helm. Mark its features well. You'll be given a slingshot, which you must use to shoot dwarves as werehelms, but are different? What? I've already made the necessary arrangements. When you're ready to take the trial, report to the observer nearby. Best of luck to you. You want me to shoot you? I mean, I guess, but like, maybe see a therapist first. Lally ho! You must be the challenger to the chief, the challenger the chief mentioned. I'll show you to the rooftop at once. As I'm sure you've been told, in 3D Mind Runner, you use a slingshot to shoot them as wear the wrong helm. You use a slingshot to shoot them as wear I don't like that English. Let's begin with a spot of practice, eh? Search the dwarf wearing the wrong type of helm. You may move the camera as well. A zoom in. Oh, yeah, okay. Alright. Time to shoot some. Oh, it's a shoe bill. Time to shoot some. some little dudes. I see you, bitch. Come out. I saw you! Ha! <laughs> Good job! Nice shooting! Keep it up in the actual trial, eh? Wait, that, there, that wasn't the trial? That was a test? Oh, that was a test. Fuck. Aye, that's the way. Next time it's the trial for true. Let me know when you're ready, eh? I'm ready, babes. Let's get on with it, yeah? Alright. What if I just shot the crystal, the crystal eggs arc? No, come back out. I see you. Pop, 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 pop. Wait, that's it? I literally just had to shoot one? That was it? I got what it takes to be a miner now. That's it. We ball! <laughs> Amazing! I'm just so talented! Run along back to the chief now and get on with putting an end to all this strangeness of late. I really thought that was gonna be longer and harder. I'm used to long and hard things, but that was, um, I guess short and diligent. It was 3D indeed. That was some impressive shooting last. Consider me satisfied. Alright, just wait you didn't come this far with luck alone. So I'll place my faith in you and help you find the ore you seek. 
Oh, thank you. Sorry, please. What? What did I do? What did I do? I did nothing wrong. I said nothing wrong. Did you know that Kalusia, Kalusia, but bleh. did you know that Kalusia is rich in sulfur? Well, it is. We've been mining this stuff since ancient times, and every so often, the selfsame veins yield what's called earth seed, a rare ore steeped in magic. Time was we used to refine earth seed for this and that. The technique's been lost. The stuff's still out there to be had. Though provided you know where to look. And no place is sure. Sure or the Jurgle's tool. Okay. <laughs> the problem is, it's like occupied by our age old rivals, the Gogs. Greedy sods claim the place is theirs and refuse to let any other bugger near. Oh, there never was a more odious lot than them Gogs. I could go on forever about those hornless horses. Sir? Then we'd be here forever, and that won't get us nowhere. What it boils down to is this. If you want the earth seed, you've got to deal with the gogs. Reckon you're up to the challenge? Hell yeah, buddy. We have dealt with far worse. I'm sure we can find a way to obtain what we need. That's the spirit. Now to help you find your way, I'll have one of ours go with you. <gasps> Thank you. I'll do it. I'll go with them. Gasp. You, Corrit? How can you fucking tell them apart? couldn't help overhearing. I knew the eaters had flocked to Mount Gold, but I didn't know why. To think the last Light Warden's hiding up there. The fate of Calusia. No, the world hangs in the balance. If I can be of some help, then I want to do my part. Your zeal is commendable, lad, but it isn't so simple. This here is Cora. Young as he is, he's one of the villagers, ugh, one of the village's finest miners. The lad's got an uncanny sense of where to dig, and his aim with a pickaxe is as true as any dwarf's. But put him in the thick of battle, and he couldn't hit the side of a minecart if he was sitting in it. If all he needs to do if all he needed to do was dig, he'd be your dwarf, but he is liable to become a sin eater's breakfast before he can manage even manage to swing. Manage a swing. It's true, I'm hopeless in a fight, but I still want to try. Please, please let me go with you. Um I take care of you, you take care of the ore. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm tough. I'm powerful. I'm scary. You just gotta do the digging. I'll try my best not to be a burden. You want me to. If you want to take Cora, far be it for me to stop you. Keep him safe, though, will you? Caught you vibes. Don't worry. We will most assuredly encounter sin eaters along the way. Though, with you in our company, they'll be more a spectacle than a concern. Are you flirting with me? Are you flirting with me? Because you know I'm gonna fuck him up? Look. That's my weakness. Admitting that I'm strong? Do you like my battle moves? Stop it! It's not a slide. Thank you for 28 month resub. Alright, chat. I kind of want to order a snack. I have food. But I don't want to make any. I don't want to get up. And also, my leg is really hurting. <laughs> I'm in a lot of pain right now, so... Ooh. Can you give me a head pass? Thank you for the head pass is satisfied. I appreciate it. What should I get as a snack? Do it. What should I get, though? What are we feeling? What am I feeling? Okay. Nuggies? We're just snacky options? I got a lot of options. Ooh. I could make dumplings myself. 
Oh, I could. I could just get up and make myself some dumplings and some hot chocolate. But I don't want to get up and make food. But I also don't want to waste money on food. I could literally just make the hot chocolate and nuggies myself, or dumplings myself. Ooh, chicken fried rice. I have fried rice in the fridge, but I'm saving that for later. You do only have about four hours until the server shut off. <laughs> dentist! Alright, my snackies are on dentist. Alright, shout out to dentist. Dentist is feeding us tonight. super snackish at night. Always, always, always really snacky at this time. Especially when I'm streaming. Hold on, I'm gonna take off my headset for a second. It's like crushing my ears. The, this like wig is very itchy. <laughs> it is, it's like synthetic, right? So it's like very itchy on my, on, um, on my skin. So I just get good old reliable. Oh, maybe I should order dumplings. If I order dumplings? No, I'm gonna be squirting on chat if I order dumplings. Y'all remember what happened last time when my dumplings were squirting? So I get soup I get soup dumplings. I don't want that happening again. I vote for nuggies, especially if the chocobos are watching you eat them. Oh my god, you're terrible. Alright, nuggies it is. And I'm gonna get can I not get a hot chocolate? Do they not have hot chocolates at, at, at McDonald's? What? They only have Americanos, espressos, coffee, and tea. I could get the orange pico. Hot chalky machine broken. So despicable. Look in the kids section. Brew. Alright, let me go find a happy meal. But all the happy meals only have four nuggets. The small hot chocolate is sold out! No! I'll just make my own hot chocolate. Okay. Let me order this. Popeyes or McDonald's? Popeyes or McDonald's chat? Which one? I might just do Popeyes because it's cheaper. Even though dentist is paying. Or bang for my buck. Or for his buck. Okay. Nugget combo. With the sweet heat sauce. Y'all got good taste. Like, McDonald's has some banging chicken nuggets. But the Popeye's nuggies? Mm, in my butthole they go. And they come out. Alright, and I will get the mashed potatoes. And I'm also gonna grab.
My, so like my leg is super fucking like irritated right now. Like right here, this part, I don't know if it's like swollen or what, but it's hurting. I don't know what to do. I'm wondering if it's because my period is on its way. I know when like my period is arriving, my whole body basically like shuts down. But I'm hoping that's what the case is and it's not arthritis related. And knowing my luck, it is arthritis related, but I'm trying not to think about that. Oh, like it, like, I should probably stop sitting on it, but there's like no way for me to be comfortable at my, like in my office without sitting on my legs. You've been waking up with your knee hurting? Have you been like working out uh, more often or at all? Cause that could be why if you're just like getting back into it. Okay, chat, I'm gonna put you all on the BRB screen because I'm gonna quickly make some hot jockey and just try to like stretch my leg. I'll be back in a second.
I just noticed my mic was not muted. <laughs> um, but no, it's, it's really frustrating not being able to do anything because of my arthritis, you know? I'm always in pain, like I can't walk, I can't, I can't sit, I can't sleep. It's fucking brutal. I feel like maybe I should just quickly take some Advil. Hopefully that will help. Yeah, chronic pain sucks. I, I really hate it. Nothing could have been great. Try telling it to stop. You know what? I have, and it's not listening. So if any of y'all have any better ideas, that would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> Reminds me when my dad would tell me about his restless leg keeping him up at night. That's us now. We're your dad. I'm your daddy. Oh, God. Yeah, when it's cold, too, that's when my body really flares up. We are all getting old. I just did not think I'd be feeling these kinds of body pains 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 at this age like I thought I still had some like had a few ways to go daddy daddy <laughs> okay. oh okay let's see are we ready to go oh shit is my Popeyes here oh my Popeyes is on the way already <laughs> shit and they will be here in a minute all right, so we'll just wait, I guess. Or I guess I could start the duty. I don't know how long it's gonna take. Oh, the constant ache for pain when it's about to suck. See, always sympathy. Me, chat, disabled. That's because you absorbed all the light, like Pepper. I am Pepper. This is she. I can't help it. I'm now crickle crackling like Pepper. The Durger's tool lies in the cave to the east. I'm ready when you are. All right, let's do this. I know I can't pause and I know my nuggies are like right outside. But you know what? It is what it is. Okay. Let's go. It seems we have a fair distance to cover. Be on your guard for Sin Eaters. Sounds good. Okay, there's light here. Oh god. I can't even- I can't even- the one on the left is yours? Alright, sounds good. Wait, I wanna watch you fight. I wanna watch you fight. Oh, that is the wrong one. Is he a black mage? That's what that is, right? That's sick. I know Davy is a Crystal Exert stan, I think, right? At least I think. Is anyone else? Does anyone else simp for him? Should I be simping for him? Is he cool? <laughs> Davy is, and so am I. That checks out. Exert has many talents. Okay, I'm listening. I still can't get over um, Ishtola saying that she'd bend me over her knee. Like, what the fuck? And she said it so casually, so, so simple, so smoothly. I'm in awe, I'm in shock. And I am down bad. Ishtola fucks? Yeah, and she fucks hard. Um, is it possible for me to aggro all of them? I know, and like. And like duties like this, they're a little bit different. Oh shit, but they're behind us too. Oh no! Hello? Why can't I. We ball. I was happy to, to clip your reaction to Stola. Hell yeah. I gotta make TikToks. I gotta start making Final Fantasy XIV TikToks. I've been saying that since November, but like, I haven't got the spoons for it, but on God, I will do it. I have some good content that the world needs to see. 
She still has big mommy dommy energy and is absolutely a constant thing with her. Yes, and I love that. I fucking love that. She ain't baby. She's mommy and she knows it. I don't know how I don't know much about fighting, but you two make a great team. Pepper is a team unto herself. I merely follow her lead. Stop! Well, it looks like you've been doing this for years to me. Stop! Is that so? I I shall take that as a compliment. Stop! Um, did I say the wrong thing? No, you're just making me blush. Not at all. Your words are most heartening. Indeed, I feel like a young man again. Oh. You talk as if you're old. How long have you two known each other anyway? Um... Like a month? Two months? Wah! There's even more of them! Yeah, I'm trying- well... This is too close to Amity for comfort. Let's rest them quickly and move on. Sounds good, babe. Black and these are two months, Arisa. What's up, Salt? Are you calling me Salt because I'm white now? Hello? <laughs> Does he have ribs? Is it years since you know how to throw wide the gates? No! Not throw wide the gates. I threw my gates wide. They were wide. They were open. And then I was hit with trauma. And then they gave me the Orshifon flashback. Trauma! That's all I know. Face down, gaze around wide. That's the way I know. That's the way I like to hide. It doesn't rhyme. It doesn't rhyme with anything sexy. Try it again. I'm playing Leap of Faith and I'm straight up not having a good time, y'all. I don't know. What's happening? Which one is it? Is it one of the new ones? How much farther to the cave? Not far. It's just past this rise. Am I? Are we going the right way? Why is that called Pit 8? Damn, I am running way too fast for y'all. Again? Fuck, there's so many. It appears we are surrounded. Yeah, they're all aggroing me. Fortunately, I have a little trick for such occasion. Oh shit, Pepper draw them in. They're in. Throwing what? So, what was it? Was it to kill me? Was it to kill me? Bro, I did not notice my HP, and I was thinking, I was like, I should probably use Living Dead soon, but fuck, now I gotta do this all over. God, fuck my butt. And my nuggies are here. All right, I'm gonna grab my nuggies. Give me one second. Bridgerton, keep fighting. I'm just getting my nuggies ready. Pepper got a fan club, they all want her. <laughs> I 
I mean, can you blame them? Pepper's a cutie patootie. He's a hot commodity around some parts, you know? The eggs are to Pepper taking on all the enemies. Throw those gates a little more narrow, please. <laughs> tighter. I want it tighter, he said. Is he actually killing them all? Wait! Wait a minute! Is he actually finishing it off for me? Oh my god, he's finishing for me. He finished. Wow. Wait, is he flirting with me? It may interest you to know that Pepper is a great hero in the land when she hails. She was, someone say the greatest? Wait a minute. Wait, he's flirting. Hello? See, now that's how you get my attention. That's how you make me want you. I love me someone that sits for me. But in a way where they know I'm tough and powerful and beautiful and cool. Okay, let me get this guy so he doesn't fuck up our little booty. Our little booty. Biggest warrior of light sim? If you love someone who sims for you and admires you, you're gonna love the Exarch? Oh no. Oh no. This is not good. My roster of characters that I sim for is only getting bigger and bigger. I can't keep doing this. I can't live like this chat. I like someone who's a little mean to me, but also someone who simps for me, you know? I want you to admire me, but I also want you to detest me. not gonna happen. Yes, sometimes I blush. But I'm not into him. Who is this white-haired squishy tank who is also really good at tanking? Oh, that's me. Oh, that's me. Hey, Jen, how are you? How you doing? Copium. <laughs> it's true. It's true, chat. These nuggets taste too different. Hi, Waldo. I'm not giving you any, baby. I hate that my dog has, like, a sad face. Because he always makes me feel guilty when I don't give him food. He looks at me like this. He's just pleading. Alright, now we're surrounded. This time I'm not gonna forget to pop Living Dead. I should be okay. I should be okay. 
should be fine. This should be fine. This should be fine. I'm drawing them in, but they're dealing a lot of damage. Do your thing. Nice. Okay. I wasted living dead. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Alright, where are we going now? Do we keep going this way? Yeah, I think we keep going this way. Or no. Can we go up there? Oh, it's a cutscene. No? That's a lot better. Whoa! More? This is where we're about to get there. One last push then, shall we, Pepper? <laughs> I love that he's just like cheering for us. He's like, yeah, woo, fuck him up, fuck him up, fuck him up. <laughs> I love it. Hey, Dave. Oh, no. They're focusing on the little guy. God. Oh. oh. Oh my god. I can't even fucking target him. There we go. What is it? Um, Pepper attempt to bring all to bear? Hell yeah. I got you, vibes. I got this. I'm a god. I'm a queen. I'm a legend. Oh, I'm Peppa! Down to count. Oh no. Not like. Th oh! Fuck! Oh fuck! Oh shit! I think not. Are you gonna. Can you heal me? Big heals? Your tail will not end here. Damn right it won't. Nice! Oh, he's running away. Little guy's running.
kinda hot though, I'm not gonna lie, I like his teeth. I did it! Oh, I did it, babe! <laughs> All right, okay, let's go. I'm assuming I'm now gonna get a dungeon. We're alive, we're alive! Let's hurry inside before any more Sin Eaters come. Sounds good. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Gord is eager to step into the relative safety of the cave. Right, follow me, please. I will take you to Durger's Tool, where the purest sulfur in the land may be found. I know Jay wants to do like the end of Shadowbringers content with me, and I don't think that includes this, but I'm under the assumption that Gain would want to join me. Is this playthrough of Shadowbringers? Yeah, this is my first time playing Final Fantasy XIV. Period. I've never played a Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy game before, um, apart from this one. I'm a newbie. Oh, I'm just a baby. I 100% want to join you, sounds good. Are you here already? You totally want to join? Alright, Davey. Sounds good. My besties. I'll join to space, but no biggie if there isn't, sounds good. Oh, Anna's there too? Okay, bet. Guy, Anna, and Davey it is. Because I'm assuming it's a dungeon, so it's like a four man, right? Ether current! Alright, hello. If the terrain and <coughs> stench are any indication, we are at the tool. Ah, there! <laughs> the dogs! With their ugly, unkempt beards. When they realize we're here, they'll come after us. Best to take them down first. But their beards look just like yours. Be not so hasty, Korra. The animosity between your two clans notwithstanding, I would not resort to violence unless necessary. Oh, 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 but Sin Eaters will still be able to see him. That's not so bad, I guess. I can see straight through me! Right, a dig in we go. Let's not be idle either. Though Korat cannot be seen, he may still be heard. I would aid him by removing some few gogs from the field. To that end. Dream powder. As you may recall, we use it for the rescue mission at Lax and Loft. We use it in Yulemore too. Yeah, I was gonna say. Alright, hold on, let me just take my Advil. Is the trial gonna be Vothry or am I gonna have to face like another boss? Alright, we use it in Yulemore too. Mm -hmm. Truly, it seems our alchemist got a little carried away with the latest batch. But if it has been useful in our endeavors, then I have no cause to complain. Now then, I shall make you invisible as well. And you might steal close to the dwarves and give them a dose of dream powder. Even should it fail to put them to sleep outright, it should render them drowsy enough to seek their beds. Say the word, and I will cast the enchantment. Alright. I'm I'm saying the word. Ready to begin? Very good. To the enchantment fade before you finish tending to old dwarf. Return to me and I will cast it anew. Sounds good. Okay, so I guess I have to be fast. I have two minutes. Okay, this should not take that long. Alright. Oh, there's one over there. 
This little duty you did is brutal. I also died many times. So you're telling me that I did good? Because if you only died, if I only died once and you died many times, that means, theoretically, I'm better than Jay. I'm not letting you live this down. This is a badge that I'm gonna wear with a lot of pride. All right, one more. Let's see, where is that last bugger? Y'all see it? Huh. On a Sigma nap on the rock. Oh, there's the last one. Correct, you are better? Thank you, thank you. Save me, I fell. Too bad, Anna, stay down. I got shit to do. Oh, I'm busy! Are you gonna, are you gonna be okay? Are you, are you gonna be okay? I hope so. Don't die, please. I need you for the uh, dungeon. <laughs> completion have to die more? What's wrong with completionist? I'm a completionist. To a degree. Depends on how much I like the game that I'm playing, you know? All the dwarves have taken their leave. Good work, my friend. We have done all that we can. Let us await Korat's return. Uh, ah! Wow. This is the purest stuff there is. I think it's enough, or shall I go and dig up some more? I dare say it will suffice for our purposes. You have our gratitude, Korat. Let's carry this back to, to, oh shit. Are you all right? Worry not, I shall be fine. As long as I have been away from the Crystarium, a little weakness is to be expected. Oh shit. So you're not allowed to wander far? I may also have overexerted myself in the moment. To have this rare opportunity yet be unable to enjoy it to the full. Relatable. That's on being disabled. Who goes there? Aw, oh, crikey. Wah! So that's Glag, chief of the Gogs! You! You're one of the Thals! I see, I see. Word was our miners were coming back drowsy, one after the next. I immediately suspected foul play. But what should I find here but Thal scum skulking about? It's a spineless act belifting or befitting your limp beards. What? I won't stand for that insult. Our beards are soft and luscious and smell like freshly tapped ale. Gog beards are dry and crusty and smell like a knocker's arse. <gasps> Impudent whelp! Better a hobgoblin's nose hairs than the feeble, floppy things you thals have hanging from your faces. Grrr. I feel like I'm watching two chihuahuas fight. Like oil and water, this is not like the end of its own accord. Pepper, do you perchance have some dream powder left? <laughs> Enough to put an end to this. We shouldn't interrupt the conversation. But this was <laughs> this is beginning to get interesting. Don't worry not, my friend. Sling tells me you'll have ample opportunity later to witness their bickering. For now, however, we should be on our way. What the swivin? 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 That's it? You just fucking Oh my god. You just launched it on him like that? <laughs> Forgive me, Cora, but we need you to be calm as well. I'm sorry, it's just, when it comes to the gogs, I can't help but see red. You need to apologize, my friend. You're here on, your, on our account, and we have not but gratitude for you. Now that we have what we came for, however, it is time to take our leave. The Talos awaits its heart. So I thought that there would be a dungeon. I guess it's coming up after this. Oh, thank you for the headpats. The crystal exarch has efficiency on his mind. 
Well, my friend, much as I have enjoyed our time together, I think it's best we split up, that we might accomplish our tasks more swiftly. I shall see the Earth seed safely into the hands of China's. Well, I am thus employed, would you be so good as to deliver Court back to Tamra? I mean, I guess. My thanks, Pepper. Brief though it was, it was an honor to go adventuring with you. I shall see you back in Amity. Sounds good. Can I just like TP? Like I hope, okay, thank God. Like I hope, I thought, I was scared it would be like an escort mission. Cause I remember having to do those with the sylphs and God Lord, I did not want to do those again. Hi Keep, how you doing? It's nice to see you. It's a wild Kelsey. Wait, Kelsey. You look hot. I love this fit. God damn. Amanaline! Amanaline, you have a new outfit. Amanaline, you look so cute. You look so sweet, friend. I don't know where my mouse is. I would give you a hug quicker, but alas, I have to do it slowly. <laughs> You look so good, friend! Okay. Thank you for the hug. Alright. Time to go speak with whoever this is. Yeah, Zamoth, the chief. Lally ho! Glad you're back and in one piece. How did you fare with the Earthseed then? I got them all they needed. The XR's on his way to Amity with it now. <laughs> good to hear that young Cora was of help. As it happens, a few others came forward while you were gone saying they wanted to do their bit as well. Even that you're building a Talos, we reckon you'd be needing some mining tools. So we went and modified our spare pickaxes for use by bigger folk. Here, take these with you. It should be plenty to go around. From what our scouts tell me, there's a crowd gathered at Top Rung already. Go and see that everyone has a pickaxe to swing, eh? Hell yeah! I'm on my way from misery to happiness to be. Yeah, so apparently a lot of people have been having, um server issues like people aren't being able to log in has that been happening since the patch update i'm assuming that's what the emergency maintenance is about bd hey what's up they stopped doing escorts like the old way by this point oh thank god good escort missions in some games are fun <laughs> but in this one they're just tedious i find it's been since the patch. Oh, that's so frustrating. I got DC twice this week and I like pretty hard to dungeon on today, so I'm sure they're gonna be working on that tonight. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, I normally get DCs, but they've been a lot better since um, one of the previous patches up, actually. Oh, sorry, one of the previous patch updates, actually. Um, and they've only DC'd a few times over the last, like since the recent patch. So maybe they'll work on that too. Mmm, net, uh, for networks, network fixes. Okay, good. Thank God. Magnus? Jarek? Run, run! Wait. Magnus is hot. Wait, I recognize Magnus. Wait, was Magnus the one with the family that died? Am I right or am I wrong? I don't know. Who's Magnus? Look, Piper, people from all over have come to help us quarry stone. Yes, Troy man. Oh, yes! I was right! That was that was a sad plot line as well. And this isn't even all of them. As we speak, the volunteers, Thancred and Reen recruited are being escorted to the work site. And by both Posterium and Yulmorn soldiers, no less. <coughs> One second. Oh my god, chat. So, I don't know if Jay's still in the chat, but I'm gonna call him out. 
No, actually, I'm not gonna call him under him. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that to him. I'm having my second my second guesses. I'm gonna be a good friend for once. <laughs> Never mind. He's not. No, he isn't. Jay is not here. <laughs> No, it's embarrassing. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to, unless he does it himself. I'm sure he can put two and two together by looking at chat. <laughs> so as you can see, we have plenty of hands. There's just one problem: we don't have enough tools to put it in them. We've been desperately trying to round up more, but we haven't had much luck so far. <laughs> Axe from the dwarves? Trust you to have exactly what we need. Exactly when we need it. Well, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hand them out to everyone so they can get to work. You want me to manually give them to everybody? Try <laughs> prunes, suppositories, coffee, whatever you need. Whatever you need. Okay, so I have to speak to three people. So Ron Ron, Magnus, hell yeah. <laughs> Jay, are you, are you, Jay, are you constipated? Are you bricked up by chance? <laughs> of course, one cannot work on an empty stomach, which is why I bought some tasty worms to share. You have been terribly misled. You know, you're never too old to learn new things. You know? And if Jay is willing to admit it, then I guess I can say it. The other day, um, one of our friends mentioned the phrase bricked up. At least I'm assuming that's um, how this began. And Jay, sweet sweet innocent Jay told us that he believed that that meant constipation so people have been saying bricked up for I don't know how long and he's like oh wow a lot of people are constipated <laughs> uh huh Can you believe that? Can you believe that? This grown man, this grown man, is like, oh man, everyone's bricked up. They're constipated. And he's giving out prune advice? And then he tells us that he just, wait, what was it that you said, Jay? You said that you, um, you just found out what it meant or something? What was that? What was it you said? The worst part is that my friend told me I got him <laughs> The worst part is, is that my friend told me I got him bricked up and I thought it was because of my cooking. I realized now he was just being bisexual. Jay really sat there thinking, man. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta adjust the way I cook. I'm making my friends constipated. They can't shit! I want my friends to have regular healthy bowels! It is... It is a very sweet underst- Wait! Chat! Y'all haven't heard that phrase before either? Yeah, bricked up means you have a raging boner. It means you are erect. It means you're horny. <laughs> it's like, damn, you got me bricked up, you know? And it's fine. It's fine. Not everyone knows that term. It's definitely, it's definitely okay. And I'm not going to laugh at anybody who makes that mistake. But if you're Jay, I will laugh at you. Which I believe is a very fair thing to say you know what gets me bricked the fuck up Vlad we know 
I understand every generation has to make up new ones so they can talk about sex without the old ones knowing they're talking about sex. True. I think I, I've known the term bricked up for the last, like, millennia. It's an old term, but I guess, like, people from my time still know it, if that makes sense. I'm blunt. Just say sex or boner. Hey, chat. You gave me a boner. Versus, hey chat, you got me bricked up. Nah, telling y'all that you got me bricked up is better than me saying you gave me a boner. Boner. Why is it called boner? Like, I don't like that word. Oh my god, I have a boner. I got a boner to pick with you. Like, what? Chat, you made my member engorge with blood? I'm banning you. That was be You know what? Dissatisfied? You know what? That is something I would read in fanfic. Do you ever do you ever read fanfic and like the writer is coming up with the most like poetic ways to say pussy? Like my hand cupped her supple rump say you grabbed my ass like i think it's funny to say things like you got me bricked up but when it comes to like sexting or like fanfic say it i want oreo shade to sex to me mayhap i entereth your secretest gardeneth like he drank her sweet nectar Look, I have a sex scene coming up in my fanfic soon. Please punch me if I ever get poetic with my smut, okay? I don't want any part of that culture. If you catch me saying, like, he tickled her flower or he lapped up her flower's nectar, just cancel me. Okay, I don't want to be canceled for not liking Harry Potter and JK Rowling. I want to be canceled for comparing my vagina to a flower. Okay. You made my sex organs stimulated and blood has begun to accumulate in that region causing inflammation. Indicating I am eager for copulation. No! No! Sheldon Cooper, I am banning you from my chat. Okay, but the episode... Okay, I don't watch Big Bang Theory, but my family does. And so, by default, I have to watch it with them. Um, and the episode where Sheldon Cooper and Amy, like his girlfriend, they... Like, the only way that she could have sex with him was if she did it in a way that, like, he was comfortable with. And so they, like, had to, they did it D&D &D style, so they would roll the die, and it would determine, like, what they did. Like, if they roll high, it'd be, like, very sexy, and if it rolled low, it'd be, like, I took off your shirt. Like, nothing, like, crazy. I'm not gonna lie, it got me. I thought that was fun. That's, like, fun roleplay, you know? Your smut won't be any worse than how George writes sex scenes in a song of ice and fire. Honestly, do I want to know? I gotta fix my eyelash real quick. Yeah, literal roleplay. Like, literal roleplay. Pray tell, my bricks are uppeth, and I do desire thy flower of most copious ambrosia. Ambrosia. I don't like that, Davy. Can someone ban Davy? I don't want them to be able to look at me anymore. Hi, Flygoo, how you doing? It's nice to see you. Oh, Kareem! Hi! Okay, the server is closed in three hours. Do you think we're gonna make sweet progress with this game chat? Of course, one cannot work on an empty stomach, which is why I bought some tasty worms to share. Hell yeah. <laughs> Not a 69 second timeout for Davy. <laughs> Davy, I love you. Hope you're having a great night so far. Thank you, Kareem. I am. I think. I'm playing Final Fantasy XIV, so I'm chilling. I'm good. 
Uh, as much as we would enjoy a treat, perhaps the worms are best saved for afterwards? I love these guys. They're so cute. Greetings, Pepper. You may not remember me, but I'm one of the carriers from the inn at Journey's Head. After night returned to Amarang, we noticed a change in our patients. The transformation had halted in every one of them. I can't express what it did to the mood of the place. We were still celebrating, days later, when who should come along but Alize? She said that she sought the aid of those who believed in the warrior of darkness. We all answered her call right there and then. Of course, some carers had to remain behind, but as many of us came as could be spared. Oh, my heart! Is this Pepper's sister, Warrior of Light, st Warrior of Light Salt? Or has all the trauma turned her hair white? That's like basically what happens. Oh, good night, dentist. Um, so basically, because Pepper has been fighting the Light Wardens, she's every time she slays one, their light essence she she absorbs their light essence, and slowly since the beginning of this X pack. Her hair has becoming whiter and whiter and whiter with each light warden. And it started with just a few streaks of gray, and then the, the gray turned white. And then after the last light warden, something cracked inside of her. Something was hurting. And so her whole hair just went pew. Ooh. All right. I do have res great respect for the Warrior of Darkness. When we meet, I'll be sure to treat them to a nice, plump worm. I love when people sext me. I, if, if they don't text me, I want to give you my plump worm, I'm not interested. I didn't get to see the salt and pepper? You didn't get to see the salt and pepper? You're only seeing the salt? We've come, Pepper. In case you're wondering, Goof Dawn is here too. Couldn't wait to start breaking rocks though, so he's gone on ahead. Bah, he could have at least left us a spare set of tools. And that's where I come in. Thank you for the hydration. I'm gonna drink my hot chocolate. Ah, oh, wonderful. Now we can be about it too. Worrying isn't exactly my stock and trade, but this time, this time I feel as though my wife will be with me, guiding my hand. Let's make it happen. Let's build a world where everyone can live without fear. Where everyone has a place they can go home to. Oh. Right then, let's be on our way. Hmm? What are you still doing here, Thaif? Or staff? I told- I thought you'd brought your own tools. I did. I was just about to head off when I saw Jarek. Oh gods, oh gods, if this plan works and the giant towels comes to life. Just imagine the side the trolley it could push. Imagine it. Uh, are you still raving on about that? Sometimes I have to tell you, that's not what the talus is for. Where the hells will the tracks even go? There's bound to be somewhere. You see a little imagination. Seeing as the stoneworks is involved, maybe we could have a trolley added to the design. Enough! We're going to work! And if I hear any more about trolleys from you, I'll have you pushing one yourself! God damn. The floppy bunny ears are so cute. They're so funny to me, I don't know why. They just floop. <laughs> Constant trum in the background? What trum? What are you on about? God damn! Relax, bro! Uh, 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 uh! Damn, that's rhythm. Ready to do our bit, Pepper. You just uh, need tools to do it with. Yeah, what did it. What, what are they talking about? Is where the ambient sound? Oh yeah, it's because of the machinery and stuff, I guess. And the and the sky. Pickaxes! Loads of them! Now we may all work to our heart's content. Yeah. Well, I don't have many talents, I do have a strong back. And what strength I have, I'll gladly use for the sake of peace. 
We got the ladder moving it, didn't we? If we join hands, there's no talus we can't build. I still haven't repaid you and Alfino for saving me, and I'm not sure I ever could. But that ain't gonna stop me from trying. I'm with you to the end. Mm. Yeah! <laughs> Come on, you lot. Look lively. Oh, it gives you a headache? I don't even notice it, honestly. But that's fair. My thanks, Pepper. With that, everyone is now equipped to work. I think I'll go into the soldiers and guard over the volunteers. It would be a shame if they fell prey to Sin Eaters after all the trouble we've gone, to, gone through. Right, let us see that this plan is, resounding, is a resounding success. For the sake of all in Norvront. Oh, am I getting coffee? <gasps> Espresso for me? <sighs> Level 78. Well, my friend, it appears we're the only ones left here. If you know other pressing tasks, would you care to accompany me to Amity? There, your soul is overseeing those who will imbue the talus with magics. Come, let us join them at once. Okay. that I want more lore I want more I want more drama I want more trauma I want more tears hello oh you're in a cutscene goodbye you have very specific audio balance mine I have my ambient sounds on I can still hear it is that what turns that off I got bullied for having the listening position set to my character. I think it's I think it's more immersive that way. Yeah, I want more tears. I want more trauma. Give me the trauma. I love that all these like the talos are just like Like, same. It's been fucking with me too, but I didn't want to say anything. Oh. You want me to turn it off? That's what I did. Oh wait, play sounds when things aren't active, my bad. Does that sound better? It's kind of bothering me now. <laughs> now that it's off. I don't, I kind of want to keep it on. I kind of like it. It's like white noise, white noise for me. What about, what, what is spatial sound? I'm not, I'm not fucking turning this on because I have to download something. OMG, it's my stream. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it back on. If it's bothering you, I'm really sorry. You could just turn me down altogether. Yeah, I like I like it. It just sounds like white noise to me. Oh my God, Herman! Hermandems! Ah, good of you to join us. I'm pleased to say we have gathered ample help from the, for the imbuing. With Master Chai in the process of finalizing his design, I have taken the liberty of dispatching all hands to their positions. Oh my god, you know what I just realized? We haven't seen the lease in like a month. I have not had the displeasure of hearing that fucking <laughs> that fucking voice. Oh! Is it real Spofy? Hello! Thank you for the raid! Hi friends, my name is Syra. I am a variety streamer. Well, I can't even say that anymore. I only fucking play Final Fantasy XIV. Hi friends! Hello! How y'all doing? What did you get up to? Were you also playing Final Fantasy? Were you checking out the 6.3 content? But yeah, now I don't have to listen to somebody speaking like this to me all the time. And then acting like they know what's best and then being proven wrong over and over again. Oh! Goodness. Yeah, welcome friends. Get cozy, get comfy. We are going through Shadowbringers for the first time. We are getting the the Talos ready and built so we can go and take down Vothri, finally. 
Thank you for giving Spofi a shout out. For some reason, my shout out command doesn't really work. I recently got into the Witcher series and all of fantasy because of your tweets. Seriously? Because of my tweets? Oh my god! I'm honored! I'm so fucking honored! I'm so glad that I could have made such a positive difference in your life because fantasy is fucking awesome. I am obsessed with like 90% of fantasy series that I've come across. They're so good. Welcome to the realm of fantasy, of the fantasy genre. What have you, uh, what have you been playing? What have you been trying? Carnage, thank you for gifting Hero a sub. And thank you, Tin Dragon, for gifting Spofi a sub as well. I appreciate it. Thank you. Did I read this already? I think I did. You hurtle along as though I have my house in order. And quite frankly, this is the most disorganized mess of a project I've ever seen. And I haven't spent nearly as much time as I would like on my calculations. So thou hast proclaimed loudly and frequently, Master Chai. Yet from my perspective, a layman's though it may be, haste notwithstanding, thou hast gone to great lengths, abiding by proven methodology. Did someone say trains? Ah! Thank you for the hundred biddies! I appreciate it! Do we have a hype train going? Boom boom chat! Hi, Mango! Yeah, you've only missed one cry, and it wasn't even a big cry. Because look, my makeup is still intact. There hasn't been any overdramatic crying yet. Yet. Uh, to ensure the integrity of thy design. Aye, well, that's just the bare minimum that's expected of us at the Stoneworks. Though our glory days are behind us, I've not forgotten our time-honored traditions. Ah, but I should mention that the Exarch delivered the ore I asked for. Earth seed, I believe he called it. In that quantity, I believe you can fashion a suitable heart for the Talos. <gasps> Hi, oranges! And then everything will be in readiness, or so I would like to say. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Is there a problem? In a talos of, well, any reasonable size, a single heart will serve to circulate ether throughout the chasis. The, no, the chassis. I think is how it's pronounced, right? Um, but given the unprecedented proportions of that which we seek to build, I doubt that will be the case. By installing smaller peripherals, uh, peripheral hearts at intervals, I believe that we can maintain a stable ether flow, thereby solving the problem. However, we don't have enough ore for this purpose. Ah, is this where the dungeon comes in? Not for it, but to procure more, I suppose. He looks right at me when he says that, too. Runar, mayhap now is a good time to bring them out. <gasps> oh, do they have more? A moment, friends. There is something I would show you. Is it big sack? Oh my god. Are these not heart stones? Are those not the crystals that each of the knights blessed had? Are they gonna use them? They are. The most prized position of we of the knights blessed. Or blessed. And these belong to our kindred who have left us. Immersed in water imbued with fervent prayer, these stones harbor no small amount of magic. And we may imbue them with yet more prior to their installation on the Talos. What think you? Are you sure? That sounds like a huge fucking deal. But I mean, I guess it's worth it, right? A heart for a heart? To save Norvrat? Like, I guess that's a good thing? That's, oh, that's so, oh man. <laughs> Being from a different region, these cannot be used for the main heart. The peripheral ones, on the other hand, I, I believe they will serve. Excellent. When Master Matoya spoke to us of the role we are to play, the heart stones immediately came to mind. Of course, before bringing them with me, I made certain to consult my fellows first. After all, the stones bear the precious lives of those who have gone to the Sunless Sea. But we have now beheld the Sunless Sea with our very own eyes. And by the gentle lights that glimmer on high, we know that there is peace beyond. Hmm? The Knights Blessed are faithful. They believe wholeheartedly in restoring the night. They do, and so I mean, if this is what they gotta do, then this is what they gotta do, right? Ugh, I love how everything comes like full circle. Like everything that you do in this game, every little insignificant thing that you do in the MSQ, at least later on, actually plays a part, which is really, really nice. It's nice seeing all of those callbacks, you know? 
I had to mute stream due to the issue. That's fine. That's okay, Nano. I don't mind. If it's helping, if if muting my stream is gonna help with the headache, then so be it. I even said to mute my stream. It's okay. I know you can't hear me, but I have the caption, so hopefully it picks it up. Thus are we also at peace. If our heartstones may serve to restore night to all the world, gladly do we give them. So, Master Chai, if you could instruct us how to dis distribute the heartstones. And Pepper, for good luck. May I ask that you imbue one as well? <gasps> Me? Can I pick one? Fonto, thank you for the 69 biddies. Is Elder Scrolls considered fantasy? Yes, that is fantasy. That is part of the fantasy genre. Rest assured, it is not difficult. Simply raise your hand and focus as you would when attuning to an etherite. Imbue the jade color stone here, if you'd be so kind. That big green one in the middle. The familiar looking heart stone appears to glow faintly. Yeah, who was that again? Was that the person who passed away when I was there? Is that the one who wanted to meet me or something? Or would have liked to meet me? No. I don't know. I don't remember, babes. That will do. Thank you, Pepper. If this heartstone appears familiar, it is because it belonged to Tadia. She was the one, right? It bears the collective hope of the Knights Blessed, or Blessed. The hope that none shall ever again be sacrificed to sin eaters. I love that. Right, I've identified the spot. Oh my god! And if that's the one, wait, if that's hers and she wished she could have met me, me, like, like, attuning to it or whatever, not attuning to it, but imbuing it with my ether, it's like we're finally meeting. Oh no! That is so... That, that is so cute. Sorry, I have to take my headset off for a second. That is so cute. That is so... That is so precious. No, don't worry. I'm not crying. That's just... It's just emotional. That's just beautiful. I love that. Uh, in a way, it's like we got to meet. I was able to imbue my ether into her heartstone so I could be like, we met, you know, like our souls touched kind of. So good. Right, I've identified the spots on, on the talos where the stones are needed. See that they're ambly imbued, then install them as I've indicated on this diagram. I have so many things uh, putting pressure on my ears right now that they hurt so much. What if our souls touch under the tallows? Ooh woo. Understood. We will set about the task at once. You never thought about it like that? Well, I'm glad we could come to this uh, concept together. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I lo I Shatterbringers is so good. I'm obsessed with it so far. I still don't think it beats Heaven's Ward just yet, but they're definitely, like, tied. Or, like, really close. When the Talos awakens and the way to Mount Golg is secured, we shall sally forth. It promises to be a trying climb, so take what rest you can in the meantime. We will see you soon. I love that Alfino is always telling me to take a nap. Like, thank you. I, like, genuinely appreciate that. A moment, Uriange. You said you would have measures ready in event that our friend fails to contain the light. Do you? Oh, fuck. Wait, chat. There we go. Um, should I be scared? Should I be scared? Oh, I'm listening? 
Am I gonna fail? Be assured that I do. All which I require lieth in this land. I'm scared. Chow, why are you smiling? It's Alfino's way of saying hydrate. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Don't worry. I'll be fine. I got this. I'm good. I'm okay. I've... I've fucked harder beasts up. I... Let me rephrase that. I fucked up harder beasts. <laughs> <laughs> We're smiling because that's the appropriate reaction. True. Yeah, I love it when my friends take care of me. I love it when my friends have my back and wish only the bestest for me. Just, just also always wants me to take a nap. I love. I'm a sleepy gal. <laughs> so do we all, my friend? To that end, thou shouldst take such ease as thou mayest, and the, the better to ready thyself for the trials to come. <laughs> Me at y'all right now, just... <laughs> Alright, speak with China's. Okay, I thought I was gonna take a nap. I guess the fuck not. Control the rock for the cha the chassis or whatever is more or less ready. All quarried and shaped and laid out. That just leaves the imbuers to do their work. I'll continue to check my calculations up until the very last moment, but it's only a matter of time now. You managed to rally nigh everyone in Norbrand for this endeavor. That's a remarkable feat in itself. But will it be enough? Oh, fucking better be. Do I have any of these? Probably. I'm gonna take the money though. Got to them again? I do. Chai Nuz is looking not a little anxious. Gah, there's no point worrying about such things now. I'll get back to my calculations. You, meanwhile, should go and rest as your friend suggested. The mean chat? Huh? What does it mean? My wife and the eggs aren't should be in the tavern. Why don't you join them? I would love to. Oh, and Pepper? <clears throat> Thank you. Where is this the tavern? Oh, I think so. I just have to go up in here. Looks taverny. Yeah. The exarch. He went outside a moment ago, my dear. I would have thought you'd have seen him. He kept me company for a short while, but then he came over rather pale. He's clearly been straining himself, the poor thing. Anyway, he excused himself, saying that he needed a breath of fresh air. Weak as he looked, I did offer to go with him, but he assured me he would be fine. I do hope he's alright. Who the fuck is fighting over there? Um, search for the Crystal Exarch, alright. Mr. Boy! Mr. Bridgerton! Where you at, babes? If I find him dead in a ditch, I, I swear to god. Yoshi P, do not make me find him dead in a ditch! Ooh, Ether Current. Oh, I ran past an ether current, um, where the gloggle, glog, glog, goggles, goggles are. Oh, he's fucking dead. Oh, no shot, he's dead. Wait, hello? There we go. Oh, he's so dead. Wait, I don't even see his body. Did he shrivel up? Am I gonna find dust? He's like a Spriggan from Skyrim. He's just dust now. Oh, there. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is in the sky? <laughs> okay. Surveying, 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 surveying. The exact does not appear to be nearby. He did. <coughs> he did. Wait, why is it still making me survey here? <coughs> oh no, that's just one surveying spot. I got that. That's a new mechanic that I've noticed too with some of these missions. It's like, they make you go to different places, but it doesn't like come off the map sometimes. Unless I'm wrong and I have to do something there and I'm just sounding like a fool right now, but I think I'm right. Did he fall off the edge? Is that it? No. Um... I don't know where to go. 
I'm assuming he's gonna be like at the edge of the rock. Is he gonna be like looking off at you more? Do I have to jump down? Ah, there's no fucking way I'm jumping down. I mean, they have a lift operator. I guess I could. Let's see. Excuse me, Mr. Bridgerton, are you on the other side of this rock? Aha! You are. You're crumpled up. I found you. Look at his toes. Mr. Bridgerton, are you all right? It's me! The it's future Pepper. is where my destiny awaits. Cut scene vibes. It's a cut scene. Huh? <gasps> why, did, why did that scare me? <sighs> Forgive me. I was lost in a dream. I needed some fresh air and thought to rest for a moment. It would seem I am more fatigued than I realized. Too much time away from the tower, I fear. It drains me, leaves my body frail and weak. Though, in truth, it is debatable whether I can still call this my body. What does that mean? Are you talking about the hand? Because you're locked I away my mind towards the in the crystal the tower! I came to the conclusion that it would take many long years, many more than remain to me. And so I made myself one with the Crystal Tower, that I might live indefinitely. I am but an extension of it now. Hence my weakness the farther I travel and the longer I am away. I... I... Ah it has been quite a journey. But thanks to you, the end is in sight. My wish will finally be fulfilled. I fucking, I How goes fucking the construction knew it? it. I fucking knew it. Oh, sorry. Then this may be the last moment we have to ourselves for a while. Come, sit with me. Tell me. When all of this is over, what will you do? Go back to Ishgard, probably. I'll settle model matters. I'll settle metal matter. <laughs> I'll settle matters with the Empire. What I always do: seek out my dear foes. No, I'll rest a while. I'll go back to Ishgard and relax. I think. <laughs> That would be well deserved. You might consider roaming Norvrat not as her savior, but as a simple sightseer. Viewed through such eyes, I am certain she would seem quite different. That's not really what I meant, but... But whatever sure. it is you decide to do, I have every confidence that you will do well. For you have the strength to forge your own path. You will leave <sighs> countless lives better than you found them, and the Stop souls that. you touch will Stop never forget your kindness. I have an ego! You can't do this to me! Then, in trying times, when you question your worth and your choices, they will raise their voices to remind you of the difference you have made. My sips! And thus will your deeds come to affirm your path. Remember this. I will. Thank you. I would know more of you. What will you do when this is over? I don't know what I want to ask. Because, like, I want to know more of him, obviously, but I know he's Grahatia. Just fuck, I know. Um, but I, you know what? No, I want to ask what he will do. What will you do when this is over? When this is over, indeed. Wait, no. I once told you that there are things we can ill No, uh, wait, to I have a bad feeling about this. I have a bad feeling about this. They're giving things, me. No, said, no, 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 no. I know what happened was. No. One who no. is unaware of the full extent of my plan. This is an Orshafon 2.0. That know. man was too good to be true. I have good that man was too to keep sweet. He defended me with his literal life. I have come to terms with this in my mind. 
Yet my heart yearns to lay everything bare. For no, she is no, my I know what's coming. No, he's gonna give no. Much and more no, for the he chance it, to speak no, with I'm her getting as they're giving me the no, no thought of Hold on. Shut up. I'm having a moment. No, they're doing the fucking thing. They're doing the fucking thing where it's like it's like, oh, I'm sick, <clears throat> but I'm fine. And by the way, you are amazing. You're wonderful. Let's talk about life. So hey, and then I ask you, what you gonna do when this war is over? Oh, uh, I don't know. Ba -ba -ba! He's dead. He's gonna drop dead. He's gonna fucking die. Should she indulge me with her tales, I would regale her with my own. Mm -mm. About my efforts in Norfrent, mm -mm. perhaps. I know how this game works. Though, Fool me once. that tale is more shame yours on than me. it is mine. Or shame on you. <laughs> Fool me twice. Shame then, on me! I don't I know what it's the same! Is adventure. it the other way around? And if what she should wish me to be a part of it, oh, <laughs> how happy it would make me. Wait, Together I... we would travel the lands and Wait, cross the seas. Wait, what the, the fuck is he talking about? Take to the skies upon the eternal wind. Oh, is he talking My about dying? Well, simply to imagine it. Or is he talking about me? Is he talking about the world? I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. I was too caught up in my conspiracy theory. But all of this is contingent <laughs> upon our victory in the coming battle. I missed all of that. Oh, I'm so sorry for ignoring that. The people of this <laughs> world have entrusted their hopes to us. We cannot fail them. <laughs> Nor those who roused me from my slumber. Oh, I roused you? Wait, no, I'm not the one that roused you. No, no, I'm, see, now, now I'm reading too. Thank you for your company, my friend. Let us return to Amity. Yes, let us go. <laughs> he wants to fuck. Do you think his hand is cold? Like, if he... We're not... We're... No, we're gonna talk about it. If he... Like, what hand does he spank you with? What hand does he choke you with? Is one stronger? Is one harder? It's full of tingly magic? Oh no, I can already fucking hear the fanfic in my head. He placed his fingers on her supple flower and went bzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
Does Pepper, is Pepper not putting two and two together? Pepper, you dumb bitch. I am playing as you. I am transferring my knowledge into your brain. That buzzing, that zit, zit, zit is not our connection and it's not his fucking vibrator fingers. It's me transferring my intelligence over to you. Or maybe she's just being subtle. Maybe she's like, I'm not gonna say anything until he outright says it. I'm not gonna make baseless assumptions. Because if I make an assumption, I'm making an ass out of you and me. Bring it out, my friend. I'm much revived for the fresh air and your fine company, of course. Now then, let us take our thoughts back to the task at hand. <laughs> at hand? Chat, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Pepper is fucking clueless. <laughs> Estinian? And... Gaius? Oh. Oh, it's Ashley Tisdale. Man, I haven't seen Ashley Tisdale in a hot fucking minute. Your radiance. I have taken the liberty of quashing. Quashing? The vile rumors that your heir is possessed by a devil. With the nation- wait, Emmett? With the nation in the grip of war, we may rely on patriotic zeal. Or zeal? To prevent them from resurfacing. And what of Emmett, Emmett Selk? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, oh, I'm so dumb. Oh, no, I'm so dumb. Emmett's not the heir. He's the heir, and it's not actually him because he's dead and Nassian is in him. Right. He's taken himself to the first to usher the world to its end. Right. Or so I believe. He did not disclose the details of his mission, having ever preferred to work alone. Or maybe that's not what he's trying to do. I mean, I know what he's trying to do. I mean, it is kind of, like, catastrophic. Ah! But the, the way that they're speaking about it! Ah! Even to those who have known him since the beginning, his actions can prove unpredictable. Oh, I'm getting nervous. I am, I am no stranger to his ways. He joys in playing me for a fool. Fool many times have I been convinced I was acting of my own volition, only to discover all was as he willed it. Oh my god, is he playing me like a fiddle too? Am I his plaything? As he so uh, carefully put it. My dear grandfather. Now I know. What a man. On the subject of, of our esteemed colleague. His last report. His last report though. Brief. Wait whoa. His last report though brief. Did contain one item of interest. Me? You have doubtless wondered why the scions of the Seven Dawn have not taken the field of late. Is because they are no longer in the source. Oh fuck, are they gonna try coming to the first as well? The hero of the Scions has journeyed to the first, as have her comrades, albeit completely. Their bodies yet remain here in the source. Oh my fucking god. Are they gonna try killing our bodies? Oh my god, are they gonna go to the, what is it, the Rising Stones? This presents an opportunity. If we can defeat the Alliance prior to the Scions' return, we may eliminate their order at a stroke. And with the scions gone, none shall remain to thwart our plans. It'll be but a matter of striking down the hero upon her homecoming. Oh, fuck my pussy. Which, lest you forget, is essential to the realization of our objective. Of both of our objectives. Oh my god, are they're gonna try killing me. When I come home, though, I thought they were gonna go try finding our bodies, kill our bodies, and so our spirits have no best soul. Through Heidelin's meddling, her champions threaten to wrest the reins of fate from our grasp. The world is at risk of being dragged down the false path. One which will never see man reclaim his true form. It is unthinkable that he should supplant us, incomplete as he is. Such devolution is, ab is abhorrent, and it must be stopped before it is too late.
Is it literally just gonna wait for me to come home? I'm getting anxious now. <laughs> Hour has come, your radiance. Order your armies to march once more. Crush all who stand in your way. This is your heart's desire, is it not? To seize a victory that is yours and yours alone for the future of Garlemald. Oh dear, you do not wear the mummer's motley well. I was never one to take an interest in tedious conflicts. Okay, that oh dear, is this Emmett? Is he back? Is he just like jumping back and forth? Can he do that? <gasps> no, who is this? The whereabouts of my one true friend, however, they interest me greatly. I but hope the beasts of this first are providing her proper, proper sport. I would know every detail, Lord Xenos. Or would you rather I call you edible? Is it pronounced Elidibus? 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 Bussy? Hmm. Unexpected. Most unexpected. I prefer edible. The immortality should be within the reach of one with a borrowed echo. You have outdone yourself, Zeno Siegalvis. Two Ashley Tisdales? I have no particular attachment to that name, but I am rather fond of that body. <laughs> <laughs> Your secrets or my flesh? I care not what you give me first. The choice is yours. And so the plot thickens just like Ashley Tisdale's ass, baby! Ashley Tisdale in game, not Ashley Tisdale in real life. I'm not sexualizing Ashley Tisdale, but Xenos, however. Oh, Llama Todd! Hey, what's up? How you doing? Welcome to the chat. Hello. I kind of like, I know it's like, it's not spelt that way, but I like Eldabussy, because it sounds like, like Elder, Eldabussy, but I do think edible is pretty nice. Tisdale was like, I wonder what it'd be like to fuck myself. The elder bussy. See, you get me. The elder bussy. <laughs> oh! Sorry. Extinguishing the last light. Sorry, I got way too excited there. Judging by the por portentous, 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 portentous look in his eye, Chai knows has something important to tell you. <laughs> it's happening! We're finally gonna fuck him up! Right, so, while the two of you were away, I received word that everything is in place, meaning we can proceed with awakening the Talos. Hope you're enjoying the story. I am. I am. It's very good. It's... So, this might be, um, because, like, my brain processes things differently. I don't know why. I don't know if it's a disorder that I'm not aware of, but... I have a lot of like difficulty processing what I'm experiencing in this game. And so like I'm having so much fun and I'm enjoying the narrative so fucking much. But I'm also sitting here like what the fuck is happening? Do you know what I mean? Like it's so overwhelmingly good and it's so captivating and it's so like engaging that so much is happening and I'm like like I haven't been able to process it. But I'm having a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying it. Okay, Jay is sending me an audio message, and I swear to God, if it's him saying Eldabussy. Eldabus. Oh, he's just correcting my pronunciation. It's fucking Eldabussy, okay? It's just Eldabussy now. Thank you very much.
No, he said he sent me two. Look. Elidibus. And then he said. Or Elidibus. So I think it's the a little bus. A little bus. <laughs> the Elden Bussy. Okay, can we all agree that if it's not edible, it's the Elder Bussy? <laughs> I do kind of like them. <laughs> can we call him the Magic School Bus, actually? <laughs> we got Ashley Tisdale and the Magic School Bus and Emmett Squelch. <laughs> the Elder Bussy, a fabled creature as old as <laughs> Uh, edible makes you think you want to eat him. You don't? Have you seen his hair? It looks like spaghetti. Magic school bus, because everyone gets to ride him. Ayo. Listen. I am not a Xenos fucker, but Godspeed to you all. Oh, so someone said they like my cosplay. I completely did. I missed who said it, but thank you. I promised chat that I would cosplay as Pepper with her white hair for as long as she has it. Next, I have to get a big red bow. Um, so thank you. Every time I stream MSQ, I I wear black cat ears because normally she has black hair. But because Pepper has been fighting all these light wardens and been um, like absorbing light essence, her hair has gradually been getting whiter throughout this expansion, and so now it's fully white, and so now here I am. Otherwise, chat, I do have an idea. I do think when I stream and it's not MSQ, for this game in particular, I think it'll be- Oh, fuck, I can't even turn it on. But it'll be PNG tuber time. PNG tuby Pepper only has black hair, but maybe I'll slip Stacy an extra hundred <laughs> and be like, Stacy, please. <laughs> Amazing hair, Laura, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I like I like creating I like creating little lore for for Pepper as the story progresses. Um, I know I'm gonna write Final Fantasy stuff maybe when I finish Endwalker, but um, for the time being, I'm holding off on it and I'm seeing what I can get out of the the narrative up to date, and then I'll create my own lore. You know, little PNG tuber is so cute. Thank you. She is a cutie patootie. Shout out to Stacy. All right, yeah, let's continue with the with the with the game. Um, by the way, to everyone who's new here, hi! Don't forget to join my Discord server so you can play Final Fantasy with me and hang out with the community and watch movies and all that good stuff. And follow me on social media that we can stay up to date with all my shenanigans. I have an alt Twitter that I don't think I have a link for. Someone would have to link it manually. A mod would have to. Um, but that's normally where I shit post and post pictures of my Warrior of Light and all that fun stuff. So. That was a cue for a mod to bump my socials. Thank you, Sarnix. <laughs> right, so while the two of you were away, I received word that everything is in place, meaning we can proceed with awakening the Talos. Once we imbue the magic, it will stir itself and immediately carry out its designated function, namely taking Mount Gold in its grasp. Okay, we get it, we get it. Thank you, thank you. Pepper, we may be certain that Vothri will not look on an idleness as we beat a path to his front door. Once our plans are set in motion, there will be no turning back. So see to your preparations as meticulously as you may, and I will give the order to proceed as soon as you are ready. Okay. Um, I mean, Pepper is as good as she's gonna be. Um, I'll eat some food, I guess. And I'm good to go. Can I join your dungeon run? I think I'm gonna be doing it with Gain, Davy, and Anna. Sorry. Give the word and I will relay the order to awaken the Talos. I'm always down to play with to play with y'all, but hey, Sarnix, they call dibs early on. I know Gain and Davy wanted to play the other day, I remember, but I had other people with me, so I didn't invite them. So they're gonna be coming with me, and then Anna was the first to raise her hand, so scoop. All right, we are engaging! Very well, let us begin. Oh, 
Oh my god! So like, are we gonna be climbing up its back? How's that working? I'm calling Diz next time, but... Mommy! Word from the Exarch. All is set on his side, and we may proceed when ready. Well, we have sufficient stone for our needs. Likewise, preparations for the imbuing have been made according to thine exacting instructions. Then you need only say the word. Let us begin. See that everyone is in position. We shall catch Vorthri, mountain and all. Yeah! Fuck him up, fuck him up! Fuck him up, fuck him up! Fuck him up! Fuck him up! Okay, so... Oh! Whoa, whoa! Here it comes! Oh, shit. You telling me that's how it... Oh. Dude, that's sick. That's sick! Uh. That's so sick. <gasps> Artvark. Teeth. Oh, that's dope. Oh, it's so fucking cool. That's a big boy. <laughs> Is he gonna eat him? How's this gonna work? Just trying to fight him. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, yes! You've not lost your touch, you clever old bugger! See what they're doing? If its hands are damaged, it won't be able to cling to the mountain. Oh no. Oh, I knew this was a terrible idea. Four three marshals the eaters to his defense. This was only to be expected. We must try and draw as many of them down to the ground as possible. It may not be enough, but we have no other choice. But Is that? They're here! Such a heartless thing our sapling is. Cold and cruel and heartless. They're here! So in times of need, we expressly said, yet what should we find but the final battle joined without so much as a whisper of our name? Look, <laughs> look, we didn't want to disturb you. Uriel Jason, it might not be a good idea. <laughs> Blame him, not us, not me. Yes, yes, we may also have said that we fae folk have no interest in the struggles of men. 
But if our adorable sapling had come crying to us for help, we would of course have flown to her aid. Of I'm course so we would. What are we to do with her? We are so very, very sad. You will play with us. I love them. Cheer us up again! I love them. Oh, shit. All right. So, are they going to bring it down? Or are we going to climb up? I think they're gonna try bringing it down, or maybe this is it? Oh yeah, I can see it. I see the path. Yes, okay. Or we're gonna dig the I think they're mad at me. <laughs> this I did not expect, but I will gladly accept the help. Me too, Mr. Bridgerton. I will send word to your Stoler and the others. Join them at the foot of Mount Gulg and be ready to make the ascent. I'm assuming the dungeon is coming up. Yes, thank you, Fao. Thank you, Fao. Thank you, Fao. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Okay, we have two hours of gameplay left. Two hours. What can we get done in two hours, chat? I'm assuming we're chilling. The dungeon and trial? Nice! I can finish Final Fantasy XIV, you're right. I can finish the entire game. You're right. You're right. I'm finishing the whole game. A quick UCOB? What is a UCOB? Universal corn on the cob? Yeah, I'm gonna be finaling my fantasy. Oh, my fantasy, it's finalizing! Ultimate corn on the cob, hell yeah. I think I'm gonna be healer. Oh, Anna? Anna, are you comfortable be being healer? Because I can do it. I don't know the dungeon, so I can't guarantee everyone's safety. But healer is like my second main. Like Astro is my second main. I'm still not too comfortable with the, I'm learning the shield and stuff still, but like. Oh, Davy also mains heals? Okay. Well, whoever, whoever is comfiest. Davey, if you want to heal, maybe that'll be best. Because I feel like Anna, um, Anna Gain and I aren't as confident. <gasps> You're giving me hot chocolate? All right, let me give you some weed. Good luck, thank you. No, it's alright, I'll do it. Oh, okay. Alright. Alright, Gain's got this. Gain's gonna do it. Alright, are we ready? Alright. Fare thee well, friends. Godspeed. Thank you for coming. Everyone is here. Good. The Talos has taken hold of the mountain. As planned, we will use its body as a bridge to reach Vothri's sanctuary. 
The Sin Eaters will make us work for every yam. Or yam? Yam? Of course. But we will carve a path through their ranks and meet with their mister. Mister Master, regardless. For the first! Last one. <laughs> Last one, there's a rotten egg! Said the fucking over aggressive tank. <laughs> Bye, Obsidian! Take care. Pepper is a weed dealer? Yeah, it says in my adventure plate. You give me head pets, I give you weed. Mount Golg. Go, 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 go. Mount Gok Gok. Alright, friends. It was nice seeing you all. I shall bid you all a hearty farewell. Oh, I get head pads. Thank you. Alright. Here we go. <laughs> Could you imagine? Wait a second. <laughs> Hold on. There we go! <laughs> Could you imagine? I load us! Oh my god, could you imagine I load us into an alliance raid instead? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and knowing my luck, that absolutely would have gone down just like that. One quick alliance right to calm the nerves, you know? Yeah, exactly. Milk, go, go. Would have been Void Arc 100%. Oh, Void Arc is fun. Oh shit, Tess got her boobas out. She jingle jongling everywhere. So it is you. Vothry, do not look at me. You will not defile my new uh... paradise. I don't know if I want to pull. Oh yeah, I can have Fray fight with me now. Shit. This 
music is so joyful and triumphant. It's 2 PMA. This is too, this is way too, did he just Columba them? He just grabbed him? Oh, oh, I've made a mistake. I made a mistake. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. I regret it already. I I regret it already. I re I, re I regret it. I regret it. I regret it. I regret it. I have many regrets. I have so many regrets. I have so many regrets. Okay, they're all on me. I'm so sorry. I forgot to use Dark Knight. That's fine. That is fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, I got this. We're okay, there's only two left. We're chilling, we're vibing. All is well. Silent night, holy night. See, we're chilling. We're fine. Easy. See? We're good. Oh, did we go up this way now? Oh, oh, he removed! Oh, first boss. Arrive on the parish path. Oh! <gasps> Lion guy! Forgiven cruelty. Isn't this like Vothry's like big pet? Right? Oh, he's like right up against me. I should have fucking moved. Whoops, my bad. That's fine though. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. 
Gun's got me. Gun's got my back. Bless her. Hello? Yes, sir. Okay. Scurrying about my domain like insects. I regret this. I regret this. I regret this. Can I bring them up to the wall? Oh! Okay, you suck me anyways, so I, I guess that's a yes. The white gates? The pearly white gates? We're going. Oh, this is okay. Low key, this is gorgeous. I am so into the designs here. Like, I know it's like spooky yuki and stuff, but man. If I am I doing damage on that? Come no closer! Filthy creatures! I'm so sorry if these are big. I'm so sorry. I already regret it. Hasn't fully loaded, but like I fucking love it. Ooh, what's this? Gimme, gimme. Okay. Ooh, forgiven whimsy. Oh, this is neat. This is a really interesting like boss design. Okay. All right, let's see how this is gonna go now. Okay, neat, neat, neat. That's sick. That's so sick.
okay. Well, oh, 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 right here. Oh, I won the wrong one. I appreciate it. Welcome to come to your bedroom must in your stay. Hold on, I'll take this quick moment to see if I missed any notifications. I think that might have been the only one. Oh, Nikki V from an hour ago. Thank you so much for the tier one sub as well. I really appreciate and it. And righteousness you. will prevail. Thank you, thank you. I know, I can't believe I fucked up a Rubik's Cube. That was really cool. That was a lot of fun. Ooh. Oh, the mommy. <laughs> Can't you do anything by yourself? No, I'm baby. Sorry, I gotta get some loot. Thank you. Are there more here? There are more there. Okay, I'll just pull them here. I'm not feeling that comfortable. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to the Covenant of your Vagabonds and your stay. Okay, arrive at the winding flare. Ooh. Cute. <gasps> oh, I already have one? Oh, shit. <gasps> oh, they got big. Wait, there are five here?
if you will not be discouraged. It's just hair. It's just hair. I'm fighting hair. Oh shit. Oh shit, I think we made it. Is he gonna fly out? I have to fight a milk first? Look at that pointy toe! Consort of sin, forgiven obscenity. Obsessed. Yeah, Gain, you're doing great at healing. You're keeping me up, and that's what's important. None of us have died. effect when I use it to go whoop, whoop. It sounds it sounds like it came straight out of Cuphead, you know? Oh shit. Um what do I do here? Is it based off of what spawns first? No oh yeah, okay. Oh shit! Our healer's dead! Oh no! Can our red mage heal her? Can oh fuck I'm dead! Oh shit. Are we gonna be able- Oh, we got a res up? Is there hope? No, on a Zed! Oh, oh no. Oh, I'm getting the res. I'm getting the res. Let me pop living dead. Hold on. Oh, can we do it? Can we do it? Oi, 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 oi. Oh no. 
Heal, 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 heal. We got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. Everything is gonna be fine. Oh, I don't remember. Is this gonna hit me? Is that gonna hit me? I don't know what that does. Okay. Oh, I forgot to use the other ability. Shit, my bad. It's gonna be a long fight. Oh, we got Ana up! Okay. Is it middle? Okay, so... Oh, fuck. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is okay. Everything is okay. We're okay. We're fine. We're chilling. We're chilling. We ball. We're good. We're good. right now chat okay 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 I have a white pair and a black pair. The black pair is obviously for uh, Pepper, but the white pair, this is for my Ishtola cosplay that I have yet to finish. And I thought, well, since Pepper has white hair, might as well cosplay her, right? <gasps> a Golg planter? All right, it's time to see if Pepper's gonna die. Let's see what's gonna happen, because I'm gonna be crickle crackling. All right, let's see what's coming my way. The end is near, my friends. We have found Vortra's hiding place. Oh, the end is near indeed. Yeah, actually. By, By your, your wickedness, wickedness, you stand, you stand to gain your ceaseless Girl, these echoes, relax. Don't Had drop it down. Had you only just trusted me to me, me, to me oh. there it's would have been a peaceful It's 
giving Prometheus? You, you <laughs> could have left this list in my no. eternal paradise, free, free from the burdens, from the burdens of, of constant, constant self purpose. Why would I want that? I want to be self aware. I know I'm a dumb bitch, and I want I want everyone Peace to know that too. Many forms. And I do not doubt that you considered yours well worth the cost. I was even prepared to believe that the end might justify the means. Ignorant as I was, I had hoped that you might mend your ways and join hands with us. That we might strive together for the happiness of all. But no more. Your actions cannot be reconciled with your words. Peace for all, you say? Yet when you were threatened, your first act was to sacrifice your own people in order to save yourself. Mike, drop. If your paradise can be rebuilt so long as you alone survive, it exists not for the people. It exists solely for your twisted pleasure. Tell him! Tell him, Alfie, no! Get him! Hear me, all three. The people won't submit to your will, for we each have our own. I made a promise to a noble soul. A woman who saw fit to entrust me with her legacy, and I mean to keep it. Long live MILF. Everyone who stands with us has something precious. Something that they cherish and would die to protect. I thought this was a stock image for a second. <laughs> they know their own hearts. They know what they want for this world. And by lending their strength to our cause, they have spoken. Get his ass, Reen. No matter how hard you may try to bend the world to your will, we will never yield. You tell him. You tell him, Silence! baby. Look. Not another word. I'm so sorry. You presume to lecture me, insolent worms. You will learn your place. With my true side? powers awakened, I will expunge you like the fifth you are. Boobies. Your demise will serve as a reminder to all that I am the zenith of mankind and sin eater both, chosen to rule over creation by right of transcendence. My very existence is virtuous. I am perfect, immaculate. He seems disinclined to grant us an audience. Yeah, he's a fucking coward. Find Vorthry. We will hold the Eaters here. Me? You want me to go find him? All right. Come, let's finish this. Oh man, fuck him up, 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 fuck him up. Fuck him up. Ah! <gasps> Is this the trial? my friends list like this um okay i saw stacy wanted to join stacy are you here no you're not <laughs> i think this is what jay wanted okay so i'll invite jay see no so i can invite people okay who okay i'm gonna invite oh no vince is afk vince if you're here Vince, if you're here, I would love to invite you. Um. <gasps> Anna's out? Anna said good luck. Oh, you're doing a trial? That's okay, Stacy. We got we got more things that you that we can do together. You're here? Okay. I need to resub. God damn it, Red. I'm assuming I could invite Zen, right? If you need, no, I should be good. I should be fine. I'm gonna go through my party first and see like who's here that can join. Um, we have Nissan and I have a Manalane. 
Um, let me quickly see if there's like any other buddies. Bosk is in here. Oh, um, fucking Kelsey, you wanted to play, right? I'll invite you two. And I think that's a full party then, right? No, one, two, three, we have seven, so we need one more. Um, you know what, dissatisfied, I'll invite you because I know you wanted to play earlier. So I'll give you, I'll put you in this party. And I think that's it. Yeah, all right, that's perfect. That's great. So we got Davey, we got Gyne, we got Jay, we got Vince, we got Kenley, we got Kelsey, and we got Dissatisfied. Let's go. Alright, um... Are Jay and I dark knighting? Oh, hey, Pars! Hi! No, I did not finish the game, or, um, Shadowbringers yet. We have an hour and 18 minutes until the server closes, so let's see how much we can get done. All right, I'm gonna do a ready check. We need one more healer. Oh, <laughs> we have no healers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can heal. So I've been actually getting really good at astrologian, astroli, astrolo, astrologian, whatever. Um, but, like, I'm not comfortable enough to, like, heal in these ones yet, because, like, I've never, I haven't done them yet, right? Okay, Zen is on a healer. Okay. I think healing is fun, but I think it depends on the class. Granted, I haven't really tried the others. I didn't find Sage that fun. I thought it was kind of confusing, but, I mean, I guess it's interesting. But Astro is really cool. You should heal, but I don't want to because I want to play Dark Knight. <laughs> oh, Weston's on heals? Okay. Let's just do, I'll just do one more ready check. It says we're not, y'all are still on DPS, but you know what? I'll just go forth anyways and we'll see what happens. Perfect. <laughs> He's coming! Are you so determined to die? One last chance, villains! <coughs> Innocent! And acknowledge your king! Your god! Alright, chat. Let's hype it up. Let's go! Jay, you were a little late with that ability there, honey. This will be a Oh, so it's whatever that was. 
my god! He's growing- Oh my god! He's like cracking open! Looks like a baked potato! He's giving birth! <laughs> oh my god! He's pulsating! He's throbbing! He's tittying! The light surges within me! Ah! Oh, such bliss! I see now! I see now! This is the passion of my Alucard? Ascension! Very well! I shall embrace this tribe! Wait! He's hot! <laughs> Alucard? Is that you? Oh, but he's gonna be faster now, huh? Oh no! I want Lord Vaughn to put his fucking lance in my pussy! Oh shit, and his fucking HP is restored because he he transitioned. He changed. Transformed. Fuck. I just caught that. Great fucking healing, by the way. Oh. Um. I. I. I, uh, <laughs> may have spoke too soon on <laughs> <with> that one. <laughs> my Come here, bitch. Come on. No, oh, fuck me. No, we're good. We're chilling. We're well. Charging something. I'm assuming we're all taking him down, right? That's that's the that's the goal here. Is that the goal here? I don't I don't know. Is that was that the goal? Oh, there's a there's a lady. Oh, 
I was, it was so tight. Come on, Jay! Come on, Jay! You got this, Jay! Let's go, Jay! Fuck him up, Jay! Let's go, Jay! Get his ass, Jay! Come on! Come on, you got this! You got this! Oh! Oh! Right here where we all died, right?
got the right idea. Oh. Easy. Beautiful. Amazing. Oh. That was so fun. That was so good. For my second run? We ball! We ball! Princess Rocco, thank you for the five gifted subs. I appreciate it. And I think Kenley also gifted. Yeah, Kenley, thank you for the five gifted subs as well. I really appreciate that. And Dragon, thank you for the prime subs. Everybody who got subbed, welcome to the Covenant of Jurabad. You must say, Kenley, thank you for the five gifted subs again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we've got an hour left until the server's closed. So I am going to get moving on with the MSQ. Thank you, friends, for doing the trial and the dungeons with me. I really, really appreciate it. I had oodles of fun. All right. Let's go! Let's leave the duty! It's time! I don't know what it's time for, but it's time for something! Okay, let's talk to Reen. Oh, it's interesting that they're making me talk to Reen. Is that... Vothri? Yeah, so Vothri's hot. <laughs> I see. It's finally over then. Now night will return to all of Nor Norfrant, bringing salvation to both of our worlds. Our two worlds. <sighs> okay, chat! Do we have time? Do we have time? I have an hour. I have an hour. Yes? Okay. 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 Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! We're going! We're going! Okay. <sighs> he ain't dead. Why? Am I cast out? But it is you who are the villains. Father told me that I am hope. I am righteousness. Oh, I just noticed his wings are beautiful. A god. Like the claymores and stuff? Gorgeous. That is why I was born. As man and sin to both. So did like I kept the people safe. But like what does that like mean? Is it because you were eating sin eaters or like did your dad fuck a sin eater? I don't know if that's that important. How can this be? I should be the one looking down at you! my eyes my eyelashes are like getting a little heavy I'm good though this is his POV now help me damn you I am your god oh shit oh shit oh shit oh shit oh fuck oh fuck bitch my hair is already white I'm gonna become albino! Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Come into my bosom. Come into my titties. Flashbang? Oh. It's coming into my boobs. Into my bosom I go. 
or I go, it goes. Oh no, oh no. Pepper, Pepper resist it, swat it away, swat it away, swat it away. My titty implants. Look, the sky. <gasps> oh, you did it, but oh, I'm getting a vision. Is... Fools! Were it not for my decisive action, the whole city would have been overrun, razed to the ground. Former mayor Yet they the dare to complain about casualties? Father? Spare me. I'll wager they were put up to it by those Isn't wretches who Aerith seek to usurp me. They're stirring up the citizenry. But if they think I will yield to the likes of them, they are gravely mistaken. To be subjected to such deplorable treatment, such ingratitude. You have my sympathy, sir. You do so much good for this city, and you could do so much more were you not surrounded by fools. Oh, he appeared as an Asian, like not in his like ball gown. Who are you? Up. You're not supposed to be in here. My apologies for the intrusion, but I come bearing a proposal, one that will ensure the longevity of your reign. Wait. No shot. Wait, no shot. But give me the word, sir, and I will bring hither a light warden. By giving its power to the babe within your lady wife's womb, we shall create a transcendent being, a king Wait. to rule over Wait. all. And as sire to the king, your authority will never again be in question. <laughs> Amazing. Before my Vorthri, they behave as docile pets. With this gift, my line should be guaranteed power for perpetuity. We shall rule the whole world. Oh my fucking god. By all means, sir. United under Yulmor's banner, men will cease fighting and abandon their ambitions. Thus, they will grow fat and complacent, and in their sloth, seal your supremacy. He fucking started all of this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! My boobies! Oh, oh, I'm crickle crackling. Oh, I'm crickle crackling. Oh, oh. Are you all right? Do I fucking look okay, bitch? Look at me. I'm gonna fucking explode into a Twelve million pieces. Fend. She cannot contain the light. She's beginning to turn. No shot. Orionje, if you've ought up your sleeve, now is the time. No shot. It's changing back. Oh, paper. The combined power of every light warden is too terrible a burden for any one soul to bear. Are Anthony Bridgerton? And Are you so gonna split the bird of the- 
was wondering where this bitch was. Exo, but can you even what handle are you doing? it? I will channel this profusion of power to the Crystal Tower and use it to travel to other worlds. As I have dreamed of doing ever since I first learned of their existence. Who would choose to remain here in this dying realm when they might go elsewhere and begin anew? Not I. And thus, thus did I use you. No. No, I don't believe you! It doesn't make sense! Damn you! We won't let you do with her as you please! Do not interfere! Daddy? Please, I beseech you all, let him go! He's crackle crackling! You knew of this, Urianger. Urianger once again keeping his fucking Tis all secrets. a fiction. Such vaguely defined acts of teleportation stand no chance of success. The Exarch will never live to see another world, as he knows only too well. I fucking told you, chat, he's gonna then die! What does he mean to do? He means to take the light with him into the rift, where he will die. Bro, this is why you don't From the tell me about your he dreams! He intended to sacrifice himself to save our friend and this Norvren. I At journey's end, an opportunistic thief makes off with the hero's prize. A paltry way to end a chapter. I concede. Man. Yet your tale will continue, and my role in it will scarcely be remembered. Aww. Worry not. Whatever should become of me, I will be happy and free, safe in the knowledge that I have played my part. Thank you for fighting for this world, for believing. Oh. Fare you well, oh. my friend, my inspiration. who possess the royal eye of the Alagan Imperial line are capable of controlling the Crystal Tower. Such individuals do not exist in the first. Therefore, in all likelihood, the Exarch arrived here with the Tower. This much I had surmised, yet I could not discern his grand scheme. To think that he went through all this trouble for the sake of a single hero. It's almost admirable in its absurdity. 
Alas, it is not your grand scheme that will succeed, but ours. You bastard! Stay put. Your friend is still alive, but whether he remains so depends on you. What does that mean? No riddles, speak clearly! What a disappointment you turned out to be. I placed my faith in you. Let myself believe that you could contain the light. But look at you now. Halfway to becoming a monster. You are unworthy of my patronage. Um... Do I ask him about his, like, what he intends to do? No, I know he's the one who created Vothri because of my, like, vision. But if I ask him, like, I don't want to ask him because I already know. I want to know his plans. But if, I mean, either way, he's going to tell me. So I'm going to be, it was you. You. <sighs> oh, don't moan like that in my ears. I am an Asian. My heart's sole desire is to usher in the great rejoining. A hundred years ago, I entrusted my comrade Logriff with the task of increasing light sway over this world. This we sought to do by manipulating heroes. When that failed to achieve the desired result, I created Vorthri. But thanks to your meddling, that too has ended in failure. Maybe you just suck. What was your true purpose in approaching us? To watch it play out? By your twelve, boy, have I not told you before that everything I said was the truth? You were specimens by which I might gauge man's potential as it stands. I genuinely had an interest in you, genuinely considered taking you on as allies. Provided she could contain and control the light. If not, then she, and by extension you, would be of no use to me. T'was as simple as that. So, we've been found wanting. How disheartening. But even had we fulfilled your conditions, there was no guarantee that we would cooperate. What then? Then I simply kill you all. Ayo! Hey, at the very least, it would restore the world to the way it was before you went about trouncing Light Wardens willy-nilly. Suffice it to say, it would be most inconvenient to have all that light taken away, and I would be lying if I were to claim his actions didn't have me worried. If I became a Light Warden, would I be your pet? Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh, baby! Hmm. You still retain your form and your senses. But you have all but become a Sin Eater. Whether you will it or no, your mere existence will serve to engulf the world in light. Those in your company will likewise turn into Sin Eaters. And in time, you will succumb to your base instincts and hunt Bro, take innocents me out. to feast on their sweet, take me out. sweet ether. Take me out, take me out. Those few with the will left to fight may rise up against you. But before your absolute might, they will quickly know despair. Are you calling me strong? There is no hope. We are finished. Mankind is finished. Ah, oh, the irony. What Vorthri achieved through bliss, you achieved through despair. Oh, I hate this. But I have overstayed my welcome. I shall look forward to seeing you bring the world to its knees, hero. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Exarch! Where 
I have naught to show for all the time and effort I invested in you. He is a small token for my troubles. Are you fucking kidding? I did not expect that I could learn aught from man, but I may yet learn something from all the knowledge he had hoarded for his precious hero. My guy can fucking fly? I pity you, I do. Your friends are now your foes. If you do not kill them, they will kill you. When it all becomes too much to bear, seek me out at my abode in the dark depths of the Tempest. There, you may complete your descent into madness with some dignity, far from prying eyes. Till then, Til then, I bid you I farewell. Eater. I'm into it. Am I okay? Did they take me back? Wait, am I good? Am I chilling? Am I vibing? Wait, I'm back in the inn. Or no. Oh, it is me! Bro, did I just have a nightmare? This is just a bad dream. Is it Aardvark? Ah. Finally. Yeah, was it just a dream? Literally what I was just thinking. What the fuck happened? You're confused. And small wonder. After you collapsed, Emmett Selk vanished. Then Reen did what she could to stay the raging of the light within your body. Thanks to her, you're still you, but she's only delayed the inevitable. Shit. Is she, is she good? Wait, the inevitable, like I'm still gonna turn? You're not going to like what you see, but you still need to see it. Did I restore light everywhere? Like, re-restore it? It's like this all over. The whole of Norvrat is shrouded in light again. Oh my god. And it's because of you and the power you absorb from the Wardens. Oh my god. No one knows but your friends. When I they carried you down hope. from the mountain, they told everyone waiting below that they didn't understand why the light had returned. And now they're out there trying to allay the people's fears while searching for a way to save you. I'm such a burden. my hands like I understand <laughs> if you're well enough to be up you're well enough to get some fresh air better that than stewing in here am I seeing go myself on. like go is my vision all funky am I seeing myself the way I see aardvark 
Ard Ardvark, Ardbert, Ard Ardberg, Ard and the way Ishtola sees me, like I'm just full of light. I'm wearing gloves. Bro. <laughs> Bro. What the fuck? What the fuck was all of that? Not Jen just waiting over there. I know, at this point, all my armor has to be white too. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know where the fuck to begin. I was crying when the cloak, like when the cowl came off. When the cloak, when the cowl came off, the tears were there. My eyes, they were there. And then I heard a pew and I was like, huh? Oh my god, so this was all Emmett's doing. And so I still have a possibility of like changing into like a fucking warden myself. And he is inviting me to his lair? I don't know what that, like, I don't. I don't know what to think. And is Reen okay? That is Lair, wink wink. <sighs> Man. Kills your friend, invites you to a night at his place? I mean... Fuck. I almost want to change all my armor white for the for the lulls, <laughs> but I'll have to I'll have to leave here and go somewhere else because I can't access. No, no, there is a glamour thingy in there, but I don't have any paint because I, I can't access. Wait, no, wait, no, I can. Ah, it's fine. Okay, manager of sweets. Still level seventy nine quest, by the way. The manager of suites seems surprised. I can't even fuck it. I gotta, I gotta, we gotta, no, chat, we gotta talk. We gotta chat. We gotta talk. What the fuck just happened? Am I gonna fucking turn? I need to, like, I am, I failed. I fucking failed. This is my fault. We got so far and I couldn't fucking, I couldn't carry the light. I couldn't contain the light anymore. Can you believe it was Grahatia? Wow, well, I never saw it coming. I, yeah. When I tell you this game is so goddamn predictable. Well, I did not imagine Emmett. What, okay, Emmett Selt could literally snap his fingers and stop someone's blood from flowing. This man had to bring a gun to a magic fight. He really went bra, bra. and for what? And for what? Why? Why? He's dramatic, and you know what? And you know what? He was a, he's a theater kid! He's just a silly little guy, just committing his crimes. Oh, no shot. See, I was gonna use the pearl white dye, but that, but are we doing this? Chat, is it canon? I smell better suits a bitch. I fucking love that so much. Hold on, chat. Am I doing this? Are we doing this? Are we going full white? I know, I got 30 minutes. Are we are we going full white? 
Yeah? Alright. Alright, how do I get back in? I think I have to- Oh, I have to talk to him though to get in though, right? I can't just like... Go in. Alright, so I'll have to- cause I, I can't like... Edit the colors here, yeah. Okay. I'll accept- yeah, I'll accept the quest first. Oh miss, you're awake! You were injured during the foray at- on- or the foray on Mount Golg, yes? I was here at my station, as always, when they carried you in on a makeshift stretcher looking disturbingly bereft of vigor. And to compound my worry, the sky has, well, I'm sure you've seen it. It is everyone rather concerned, to say the least. Seeing you up and about is the first good news we've had in a while. Assuming you feel strong enough, would you may have considered a stroll around the city to reassure our anxious citizens? Bragi was one of those who helped convey you to your chambers, and he has visited several times since to, since to inquire after your condition. Tired to my room. Oh, really? We were angry. <laughs> I know. Never would have thought that I uh, got into a kerfuffle there. All right, where's my? Oh, there it is. This is it, right? Yeah. What am I using on it? Oh, I'm just using this die, the soup black die, or soot black rather. Okay, Snow White die. Oh. Oh no. Oh, we're not doing that. Oh, we're not doing that. Okay. Please tell me I have... Okay. Whoever gave me... Was it Luna? Luna, I will return... I will return your die to you. I, I didn't think, I know that Feu Ul is here, but I didn't think that Feu Ul would have my stuff, which is kind of ridiculous, like why wouldn't they? So, I'll return that to you. Oh, oh no. Nah. I mean, that's better at least. This, this is not, I might need, I might need new armor. All right, we're going, we're, we're making, we're, we're gonna, let's find a black palette. All right, we're, we're doing this. We're making new armor, I guess. Let's see, let's see if I can whip something up really quickly that doesn't look too cruddy. Uh, my bow, of course. Um, let's see. Oh, God, I love this armor so much though. Hmm. Oh, I wish I had the Abyss Gauntlets, but like, diable. Mm. Mm. This sucks. These suck. God, they all suck. Chat, we may have to, we may have to bury this idea. Actually. I like the pearl though. Yeah, I like the pearl. Wait, wait, chat, wait. I could just, <laughs> I could just put this one on. I could just, I could just dye this one. This is my, my like, like my, my like warrior bride-esque fit. That's not like too bad. Huh? I can't go back to Siren? Yeah, I'll just ban in a second. Solid? I don't know about the I don't know about the boots. What if I just leave it like this? 
I'll just leave it like that. All right, chat, we have 28 minutes until this whole shebang ends. Uh, Luna, are you still outside so I can give you back the Snow White die? I think you gave me 10. God, I'm a warrior riding for getting me Emmett. Of course, for reasons true. All right, Luna, you're the bunny, right? Oh, you, oh, it was you. Give me these, yes. Thank you. I really appreciate you giving me the die. I almost forgot not grabbing the proper stuff. Oh no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I know it's cheap, but like, I also feel bad if I just kept it. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I am not really feel. Oh. Good try, thank you. I'm not really feeling this look with the white hair. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest. But you know what? We're, we're gonna stick with the theme. We're gonna, I guess. <laughs> All right, so I have, yeah, we have like 27 minutes. Eyebrows back to black, they're not gonna change. They're not gonna change. What if I just... What if... What if I just wear this? It's not her armor. Maybe her armor's fucked up and she can't, what if I just wear the maid outfit? Oh, white Lord Farquaad. Like, the white hair just does not go because this was, like, a really good contrast for, like, the black. Like, the black hair, but we'll go with this. All right, chat. I don't know if we're going to be able to get through more MSQ, but should I should I try or is this a good resting point? I feel like, I feel like this might be a good end piece. What do we think? The white pig outfit. This is my MSQ fit. This is my fit. This is it. <gasps> I want your helmet. I want your helmet. Yeah. This is definitely a good stopping point. Thank you, Luna, for the friend request. I'll accept you in a sec. <sighs> well, the light is back. I fucked up. I am the worst. I am quite literally the warrior of Light Warden. I'm the I I don't I don't even know. I don't even know what to think. I'm I have to like process this still, unfortunately. Um so I don't think I don't think I'll be able to like talk about my feelings until tomorrow. Because that was really fucking intense. Now that's the warrior I happened to meet Emmett Squelch. I'll try to come up with some white armor um, later. I'll figure something out. Um, I'm the Light Warden, Savage. Yes, Savage Trial. All right, friends. Thank you all for hanging out with me. We're gonna wrap it up right here. You can check out your Rosa collection? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Man, that was a fucking journey. I cannot believe we actually at least got to like that climax point. Which means tomorrow, if my if my arthritis isn't like flaring up too much, we might actually be able to maybe finish Shadowbringers, which is bonkers to fucking think about. So yeah, thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you for all the gifted subs, all the donos, all the raids. I really, really appreciate it. I hope to see you all tomorrow for more nonsense. Once again, don't forget to join my Discord server and follow me on social media that we can stay up to date with up to date with all the shenanigans. Yeah, we will probably be live around the same time, so like 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, my streams are normally very late because I'm the worst. So, yeah, at least you have time to relax and and what have you. All right, chat. That 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 was a journey. Are we feeling good? Are we ready to say goodbye? I don't know if I'm ready to say goodbye. That that almost had me like sobbing. I didn't sob, but I I know I know it would have made me sob had Emmett not shot Grahatia. Ah. Who the fuck just moaned in my ear? Hello. Oh. <laughs> only, only one cry because someone interrupted. Exactly, exactly. 
All right, chat. I will see you all tomorrow. And I will definitely be screaming in Discord right after this stream to talk about my feelings because, oh my God. Bye, everybody. Take care. See ya.